this time, escaping from the Brahma secret realm had almost cost Long Chen his life. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal had used up all their energy and were currently absorbing the energy of the Divine Pillars to recover. However, this great risk had come with correspondingly great rewards. From the start, Long Chen had felt that there was something he needed within the Brahma secret realm. He wasn't disappointed. The risk had been worth it. He had obtained many 11th tier medicinal pills, as well as splitting the pool of the inverse Tao water spirit flame with the pill fairy. Most importantly, he had obtained the 6th star's pill formula for the 9 star hegemon body art. He also finally learned the name of the 6th star, the underworld gate star. As for where the underworld gate star was, he still didn't know. He would only find out once he consumed an underworld gate pill. Along with the underworld gate pills formula, Long Chen also gained many more memories. In the yin yang world, he had obtained a huge amount of unknown medicinal ingredients and only now did he learn that they were 11th tier ingredients. Thank goodness he had managed to pull those medicinal ingredients into the primal chaos space in the end. Bringing in that entire mountain range had definitely been the right decision. Long Chen went to the closest city and took a transportation formation to the eastern Xuan city. Everyone who saw him was surprised and delighted, greeting him. The photographic jades of Long Chen's battles within the Brahma secret realm had long since spread throughout the continent. As the most outstanding expert of the human race, he was their pride. The various monstrous existences that had come out recently included the powerful families from the ancient era, sects with complete inheritances, and different races. Now, it was like the martial heaven continent was their home. There were only a handful of people who could contend with those monsters amongst the original disciples of the Martial Heaven Continent. One of those few was Long Chen. The rest could only tuck their tails in. That was why people were much friendlier with him. Long Chen nodded back to them. Suddenly, the space in the distance rumbled. Haha, <laughs> more fun to watch. It seems someone is challenging the experts of the Zeman family. The experts bustling around the city immediately rushed out. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, why don't you come with us? Someone is challenging the Nangong family's experts. We can watch together, said one brazen maiden who walked by Long Chen. She wore green robes and was followed by a group of other women wearing the same robes. The mark on their sleeves and chests indicated that they were disciples of the same sect Long Chen wanted to decline, but seeing their worshipful expressions, he immediately felt bad about directly declining. To be able to watch a show accompanied by so many beautiful women is my honor, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is the best. Now we don't need to worry about being bullied by the others. The women surrounded Long Chen. What? Do people often bully you? Long Chen looked over them. There wasn't even one Empyrean amongst them. The one speaking to him was their strongest member, but she was just a rank 9 celestial. The rest were rank 8 and below. That's just the way it is. We don't know where these people came from, but they're everywhere now. Every time they open their mouths, they say distasteful things. But if you say anything back, they'll immediately turn hostile and attack, said one of the women. Those hidden sects are trying to show off their power. They intentionally sent a few disciples out to bait others into fighting them. That way, they won't be nameless nobodies when the real fighting starts, said another woman. Long Chen followed them in the crowd. He shook his head. Truly powerful existences would disdain doing such a thing. Exactly. So it's strange that there are so many of those vile people. In the end, it's senior apprentice brother Long Chen who's the real expert, said the first woman. She had just randomly invited Long Chen over, not having expected him to really agree. After all, he was the number one figure of the Martial Heaven Continent's junior generation. She hadn't expected him to be willing to accompany them. Even now, as they spoke, he didn't act like some arrogant supreme expert. Ah, you can't say that, or I might get beaten up by others and you'll be implicated as well, said Long Chen nervously. That appearance of his made those young women laugh. Just who was Long Chen? All his fame was won through fighting. That nervous appearance was especially comedic. Boom. Another powerful explosion shook the space outside the city, and a dazzling burst of divine light erupted. They hastily rushed over, only to see a figure flying back and hacking up blood. 
You've lost. Another figure appeared. Divine light flowing around his body. Mist shrouded his face so that people couldn't see his true appearance. But his voice was icy and arrogant. The person he had just sent flying back was an Empyrean of the Righteous Path. That righteous expert was pale. His arm drooping. Blood slowly dripped down his sword. The webbing between his thumb and forefinger had split apart. And his arm was deformed. This was the result of receiving a casual, bare-handed strike from his opponent. You haven't awakened your manifestation. So I didn't summon my manifestation either. Do you accept defeat? Asked that man icily. I have no choice. I admit defeat. The injured man nodded. Although he had lost, he didn't feel that much resentment. His defeat was a complete one. Then scram. Go back and cultivate for a few more years. If I was your enemy, you'd already be dead. Said his opponent coldly. Every one of his words was arrogant. If it was just the last sentence, it would only sound lofty. But as the victor, he had a right to say it. However, adding on the rest. He was simply being insolent. The injured man didn't say anything. A loss was a loss. The weak didn't have a right to complain, as that would only make them lose more face. Long Chen frowned. The victorious person was very powerful. He was an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation, and his cultivation technique gave off an ancient aura. It had a different feel from the experts of the current era. However, his tone was a bit irritating. Long Chen didn't say anything though. As he turned to leave, the man suddenly said, Could it be that the huge eastern Xuan region doesn't have anyone powerful? Every day at noon, I accept your challenges. It's already been three days, but there hasn't been anyone capable of receiving a single attack from me. Although it might be a bit rude of me, I'm not trying to target anyone. I just want to say, the people of this current era are trash. Long Chen immediately laughed. It had been many years since he had heard such a brilliant thing. Yes, he was treating everyone equally. Everyone was trash. While Long Chen laughed, others were enraged. He was actually insulting everyone present. You go too far. Receive one of my attacks. An Empyrean summoned his manifestation and slashed his saber. A giant golden saber image shot out. The man wrapped in divine light merely snorted and raised a hand. He slammed his palm down crushing the saber image instantly and sending the Empyrean flying. His saber actually flew out of his hole due to the power. He fainted. Others immediately went to help him. He woke up and gnashed his teeth in fury. However, as the weaker party, there was nothing to say. You have a big mouth, but it seems that it's just the braying of a donkey. You don't have any power, sneered the man enveloped in divine light. You're too arrogant this time. It was one of the Xuan beasts who couldn't bear it. He transformed into a giant azure ape and unleashed a powerful strike with his staff. Only to be sent flying with another palm from that person. An animal only has brute power and no technique. It's fated that you'll never reach my level. Scram back to your monkey hole, said the man. Bastard. Boom. Bang. Over ten experts came charging out one by one. There were people from the righteous path. The ancient races and the Xuan beasts, but they were all defeated, unable to receive a single blow, is he really so powerful, he doesn't even need to summon his manifestation to beat them all in one move, if he summoned his manifestation, just how powerful would he be, the woman beside Long Chen was stunned, this man had said that he was an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation, but that if he summoned his manifestation, he would be bullying people, even without summoning his manifestation, fighting barehanded against divine items. He was defeating everyone in one move. This level of power was enough to make others feel despair. Don't listen to his lies. As an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation, each of his attacks contains a merger of his world energy and his heavenly Tao energy. Summoning his manifestation would only make it stronger. The power that an awakened Empyrean controls has an absolute suppression effect on ordinary Empyreans. So even without summoning his manifestation, he can still crush these people. There's a qualitative difference between their energy, said Long Chen. Long Chen had fought 13 Empyreans with awakened manifestations, so he was profoundly aware of just how terrifying their power was when heavenly Tao energy merged with world energy. Even now, his injuries hadn't healed. So that's the case. How despicable, cried the woman. Watch out. 
Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he pulled her to the side. Startled cries rang out from the crowd as a sharp sword pierced toward Long Chen's side. That sword instantly arrived in front of Long Chen, causing others to jump in fright. That sword was a divine item that had been sent flying by the current expert challenging the man enveloped by divine light. It was actually coincidentally flying toward Long Chen. The power of that sword made the people beside him turn pale with terror. Even if Long Chen blocked it, the shock waves would definitely kill them. However, the sword suddenly came to a stop in the air. The immense power it was unleashing also vanished, like a stone falling into a sea. Two fingers had caught the tip of the sword, wiping out all the power behind it. Long Chen hadn't wanted to cause a disturbance here. By accompanying these women into the crowd here, he had been very low-key. But this action of his immediately drew everyone's attention. Long Chen, startled cries out, of everyone present, the only one capable of stopping such a terrifying attack like this was Long Chen. Sorry, senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The red-faced ancient race disciple walked over. That sword was his. Not only had he lost, but his sword even caused such a ruckus. It was an embarrassment. This disciple had actually gone into the Brahma secret realm as well. He hadn't joined Pill Valley's side, so he couldn't count as Long Chen's enemy. In fact, because Long Chen had let people like him into the core region and cut down the divine pillar so that everyone could benefit, he was actually quite grateful to him. Winning and losing is common. I also almost lost my life in Pill Valley, but I'm still living well now. Long Chen smiled slightly and returned the sword to him. That disciple couldn't help feeling grateful. The comfort of a supreme expert like Long Chen was especially touching. It was true that in the end, it was Long Chen who had fled from the battle in the Brahma secret realm. But no one could say that he had lost. For Long Chen to use his own wretched state to comfort this person made the surrounding experts feel even greater respect for him. They also understood why Long Chen possessed such powerful charisma. Other experts did not treat the weak kindly while still being domineering in the face of other experts. In fact, it was commonly the opposite for other experts. They were show-offs in front of the weak while dogs in front of the strong. This was also one reason why so many people worshipped Long Chen. People looked toward the women that had been with Long Chen. They didn't seem too special. You are Long Chen. The man in divine light looked down at Long Chen from the sky. Long Chen smiled derisively. Why bother asking? If you didn't know who I was, would you have tested me like this? The sword that Long Chen had just blocked hadn't just contained the power of the ancient race disciple. It had also contained this mysterious man's power. He had clearly sent it flying over to Long Chen intentionally. HMPH, I heard that you claim to be the present age's strongest expert. Were you sleeping in a coffin for so long that your ears rotted? Or did your brain turn to mosh? Who said that I claimed to be the strongest? Ignoring others, the wine god palace's high priest and the divine ice palace's deoist heavenly feather could crush me with a single finger. If you want to challenge me, find a better reason. To tell the truth, I've long since grown tired of this kind of unchanging show-off method. Long Chen shook his head. The other experts present couldn't help cheering for this development. They had long since found this mysterious man to be irritating. His mouth was especially malicious. Everyone on the continent knew Long Chen's character. His arrogance was not a show for others. He wouldn't say something like he was the strongest person in the world. This was clearly a taunt. HMPH. Cut the crap. Do you dare to fight? Demanded the mysterious man. Nope. Long Chen shrugged indifferently. You. The mysterious man almost coughed up blood. This response was especially unexpected. I still haven't recovered from my last battle, so I don't want to fight. That's one reason. Another reason is that I don't like meaningless battles, nor do I exchange pointers with people for some empty title. If you want to say that you're the strongest, then you're the strongest. If you want to say that I'm trash, then fine. My skin isn't made of paper, but you should know that even arrogance has its limits. If you go past a certain point, you'll have to pay a price. Long Chen had long since stopped being the youth that had walked out of the Phoenix Cry Empire whose blood would grow hot as soon as someone provoked him. Perhaps that was growth. He had become more reserved. So even seeing so many unbridled people, 
He didn't feel indignant. If they wanted to be unbridled, then fine. As long as they didn't run into him, he didn't care. You really spout a lot of crap. Do you dare to fight or not? Could it be that your title as the number one expert is a fake? Sneered the mysterious man. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Teach him a lesson. Exactly. They're from a completely different era than us. Don't let them look down on us. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. These people are all too arrogant. Countless shouts rang out from the crowd. This mysterious man had drawn too much fury recently, but no one was able to beat him. It isn't that he doesn't want to fight but that he doesn't dare to. He might be able to claim to be king over your era, but HMPH, in our era, he wouldn't even be fit to carry the shoes of the top geniuses. Once he fights, he'll no longer be able to say he's number one, sneered the mysterious man. Provoking me is useless. Tell me, what power are you from? Asked Long Chen. HMPH. Someone who doesn't even dare to fight isn't qualified to know my origins all right. Then goodbye. I'm actually quite busy. Long Chen turned and walked away. He had real business to discuss with Zheng Wenlong. HMPH. I knew that your fame was fake. You really are trash. Sneered the mysterious man. Seeing Long Chen leave, the others couldn't help feeling disappointed. They had hoped for Long Chen to come out and win some face back for their era. You should count yourself lucky that my mood isn't bad today. Long Chen didn't look back. Ah, just at this moment, one of the women that had been beside Long Chen suddenly let out a cry. She was carried over to the mysterious man's side as if she had been grabbed by a large invisible hand. Girl, your looks aren't bad. You can be a bed warmer for me. Long Chen came to a sudden stop and slowly looked back. He had a pitiful expression. Why bother? What? Is it your business if a disciple of an everlasting family wishes to have a bed warmer? If I sent out word, there would be a line of beauties outside my gate wishing to fill this position. This girl is lucky, said the mysterious man. After hearing that he came from an everlasting family, the spectators' hearts shook. Many people's expressions changed. No wonder he was so powerful. The everlasting families were powerful families that had experienced the time of the sovereigns. Their foundations were unimaginable. Those who had been defeated couldn't help deflating slightly, their anger vanishing. To be defeated by such an expert wasn't embarrassing, but this disciple in particular was too arrogant. Long Chen shook his head. Everlasting or not, it means nothing to me. Tell me, do you really want to fight me? He was finally a bit angry. He didn't want to implicate someone like this. What? Do you finally dare to fight? All right. Then I won't have time to bring back this bed warmer. Miss. Apologies. But you won't have that fortune. The mysterious man waved his hand. Sending the girl tumbling toward Long Chen. Long Chen caught her. But she was still pale with terror. She hadn't had the slightest ability to resist in the face of that man's power. Being unable to even speak or blink. He was unimaginably powerful. She cried out. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Don't fight him for. Don't worry about it. I'll help you out a bit. Long Chen sent her back to her group and slowly walked toward the man enveloped by divine light. The experts present were all excited to see the upcoming battle. They would finally get to personally witness a battle between monsters. Long Chen walked into the sky. He said. I was originally in a good mood. But now it's ruined. Be prepared ha ha ha. The mysterious man laughed. I heard that you have the nickname the Eastern Madman. Let me tell you. That little bit of power you have is nothing in front of the everlasting families to tell the truth. I have no desire to fight you. You're too weak. Said Long Chen. He slowly extended his right hand and beckoned for the mysterious man to attack. Even if you are an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation. You aren't qualified to be arrogant in front of me. I'm not even interested in teaching you a lesson, but with how much you're begging me to, I feel like not doing so would be letting you down. Since it seems that you can receive divine items with your bare hands, your fists must be your strongest point. I won't bully you. I will teach you how to be a person using your strong point, said Long Chen. His right hand slowly curled into a fist, taking on a striking posture. That posture immediately elicited a burst of laughter. That posture wasn't for fighting. It was more like one for beating a child. What wild arrogance. 
Today I'll show you what true power is. The mysterious man's manifestation suddenly activated. Facing Long Chen, he chose to no longer be so exaggerated as to not even use his manifestation. Even more divine light condensed around him, making him look like he was blazing with divine fire. He stamped on the ground and suddenly dived down like a falcon, smashing a foot at Long Chen's head. His power compressed space to the point that ripples continuously spread from him. It also contained an intention to humiliate, indicating that he wished to trample Long Chen beneath his feet. Lightning wings spread on Long Chen's back. He seemed to teleport, avoiding this attack. But most importantly, he calmly rolled up his sleeves without even looking at his opponent. His opponent wasn't startled at having missed, and he punched straight toward Long Chen's face. His movements flowed well, showing that he was clearly someone with plenty of combat experience. Just as his fist was about to strike Long Chen, Long Chen turned, seemingly to coincidentally avoid the punch. It was like that person's attack was well within his predictions. Long Chen didn't immediately counterattack. Instead, he continued rolling up his sleeves. They were finally rolled up to his elbows. Courting death, the way Long Chen had avoided the attacks unintentionally infuriated his opponent, and now his palm sliced toward Long Chen's head. He used the side of it like a blade, and blue light began to shine from it. The first two attacks might be enough to crush the regular experts here, but they had just been probing blows. Now in his fury, he was unleashing a killing move. The sharp air that came from his palm showed that this was an extremely terrifying magical art. His palm was like a bolt of lightning hacking at Long Chen, and yet Long Chen continued to not even look at him. He finished rolling up his sleeves and then randomly swung his hand from left to right. This was not exactly an attack. Long Chen hadn't stored up any power at all. His hand simply swung through the air in a beautiful arc that looked so slow that others could savor the beauty of it. Yet it was so fast that it struck his opponent's face before he even knew what was happening. A clean and crisp smacking sound rang throughout heaven and earth. Everyone saw Long Chen's hand strike that mysterious man's face first. While that man's attack ended up swinging past Long Chen's face due to being struck, the wind from it blew back Long Chen's hair but didn't harm him in the slightest. The mysterious man was sent flying, smashing into the ground and leaving a long ditch. This strike from Long Chen had been seen clearly by all. It was just a simple slap without any power or trick to it. However, this powerful opponent who had dominated other Empyreans was unable to block it. That mysterious man's power had reached a level that no one was able to comprehend. He had been fighting here for days without anyone being able to receive a single attack from him. Although it was true that Long Chen had an impressive battle accomplishment fending off the attacks of 13 awakened Empyreans, those were people who had just awakened their manifestations back then. While this mysterious man was someone from the everlasting families, his foundation was unimaginable. Many people thought that Long Chen would more likely be the winner, but there would have to be an immense, heaven-shaking battle to determine the winner. This current scene was not within their predictions. You bragged so hard. So let me ask you now, does your face hurt? Long Chen was still in his slapping posture. He looked down on that distant figure that was still tumbling back. The mysterious man slammed his legs into the ground, finally managing to stop his momentum. Long Chen. A furious roar rang out, and the divine light enveloping him grew as intense as the sun. He stamped on the ground, leaving a giant hole, and shot toward Long Chen like a flaming shooting star. Go back. When he had finally reached Long Chen, Long Chen once more raised his hand and slapped him. Long Chen's palm struck him in the exact same spot, sending him flying back. How is that possible? The experts present felt like they were going crazy. They even pushed their spiritual strength to the max as they attempted to figure out what was going on. This time, they had clearly seen that man raise his hand to block Long Chen's slap, but Long Chen's palm had still managed to strike his face. That made no sense. Can senior apprentice brother Long Chen's attacks bypass other people's bodies? Cries of disbelief rang out. That's impossible. No attacks can do that. It should be that he's just too fast resulting in a spatial illusion. It looked like his opponent blocked it, but he only blocked an afterimage. Guessed someone. The mysterious man once more slammed into the ground, 
coincidentally striking the exact same spot that he had the last. But this time, he went even further, leaving an even deeper ditch. The eighth form of split the heavens really is amazing. This one move can be said to relate to all other techniques. He, the old man is hidebound by convention, but I'm not the same. Long Chen was delighted at this success. What he had found was that the eighth form of split the heavens was not something inflexible. If he focused on his elbow, it would have the greatest power, but focusing on his shoulder would give it greater range, while focusing on his wrist would give it more agility. Long Chen had already tested the principles twice now. Although this new method meant that he couldn't quite use that much power, it actually had more than enough effect. His divine face slapping art had taken another step closer to perfection. This excited Long Chen more than learning any other heaven-shaking divine ability. After all, this was his own self-made technique. This feeling of success was amazing. As Long Chen felt overjoyed inside, the surrounding experts were simply dumbstruck. They had never seen or heard of such a fight. Long Chen, I'll kill you. A heaven-shaking roar rang out. That mysterious man's manifestation shook intensely, and like a whale sucking in water, all the surrounding heavenly Tao energy was absorbed without leaving a drop. The expressions of the surrounding experts changed. They could no longer sense any heavenly Tao energy. Some rank 9 celestials were unable to even summon their manifestations. A cold killing intent filled the air. The mysterious man's manifestation rumbled, and it was like thousands of devils were screaming. A pair of giant runic wings appeared behind him, and with a flap, he soared toward Long Chen. Seeing this, Long Chen's expression changed ever so slightly. This fellow's cultivation technique was very strange. He was actually able to use his manifestation so effectively. The surrounding experts retreated. Without any heavenly Tao energy, they might be killed by shock waves. The mysterious man had already gone crazy. He no longer cared if anyone died because of their fight. Just as everyone was retreating, a slightly serious expression appeared on Long Chen's face. His left foot stepped forward while his back foot retreated. He learned forward slightly, taking on a strange position. Since you want to go all out, I won't hold back. Let me show you my peerless technique, shouted Long Chen. Die. Flames suddenly burst from the mysterious man's wings. Strange marks appeared on his right arm, and golden armor covered it. He smashed a fist at Long Chen. This powerful punch contained the power of the heavenly deos. Spatial energy circulated, making it impossible to dodge. This attack didn't just envelop Long Chen. Even the experts in the distance that were retreating suddenly found that they were within its range. The more powerful Empyreans had it better off. They merely felt space twisting around them, causing their speed to fall. However, the rank 9 celestials were shocked to find that space had frozen around them. They couldn't move. Are we going to die? Those experts felt despair. They had never thought that the power of awakened Empyreans was so terrifying. It was said that the power of Empyreans with awakened manifestations was enough to topple mountains and invert the seas. It was the power to suppress the world. However, then they had heard that Long Chen had managed to fight 13 such Empyreans even killing two of them, causing the awe that people felt for awakened manifestations to fall. Perhaps they weren't as legendary as the legend said. After all, they had only seen them through photographic jades and were unable to sense their terrifying pressure and heavenly Tao energy. However, this awakened Empyrean in front of them had gone insane from being slapped by Long Chen. He was even igniting his essence blood in his rage. If Long Chen unleashed a full-strength counterattack to receive his crazy attack, then while the Empyreans would be fine, anyone below a rank 9 celestial would be blown to bits by the explosive shock waves. In fact, it was very likely that this mysterious man had used some secret technique to activate a paragon art. Otherwise, such terrifying spatial constrictions were inconceivable. Those weaker experts were unable to even speak. They could only hope for Long Chen to save them. Long Chen was still in his strange posture. His divine ring appeared behind him, slowly spinning. Five stars also appeared in his eyes, but no white scales appeared on his body. His expression was calm. He patiently awaited his opponent's fist to arrive. Die. Exploding blaze meteor fist. Scram. Long Chen also let out a shout. 
Upon twisting his waist, his right hand transformed into a blur that flew past his opponent's fist and struck him in the face. Another crisp explosive sound rang out, and he was once more sent flying, once more following the same path. However, this time, he continued beyond the horizon. Several breaths time passed, but he still didn't return. The spatial restriction faded, and those experts regained their freedom. Having just survived a brush past death, they were still filled with some lingering fear. That's done. Long Chen patted his hands as if he had done something insignificant. He walked over to those frightened women he had been with and smiled. All right, I've helped you vent. Next time, if anyone makes things hard on you, just tell me and I'll make sure to beat them black and blue. I have some stuff to do, so I'll be leaving first. Long Chen waved and actually walked away, going toward the city, watching him leave. The woman who had been caught by that man couldn't help feeling a bit disappointed. Her eyes were red, and she almost cried. She knew that she and Long Chen were in different worlds. The connection between the two of them would be forever limited to this brief interaction. An unrivaled hero like Long Chen who crushed the rest of his generation was in a completely different realm compared to her. There was no way to bridge that gap. The experts present were all filled with reverence and worship for Long Chen as they watched him leave. That unstoppable disciple of an everlasting family had been unable to receive a blow from Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't even fought him. He had simply slapped him three times. And the third time, Long Chen had slapped him so hard that he had vanished. The difference between the two of them was not just a matter of one or two levels. That terrifying expert still wasn't qualified to challenge Long Chen. That meant that Long Chen really had reached an unimaginable level. They also understood why Long Chen ignored his taunts. He had never viewed him as a real opponent. Can't smile. Can't smile. Stay calm. Look like a transcendent expert. He. But I really can't endure it. Long Chen knew that the crowd was watching him. But he really was too happy right now. The eighth form of split the heavens had practically been made for him. Its focus was the control of power. To Long Chen. That could not be simpler. However. To others. It was as difficult as ascending the heavens. Others only had one astral space where their power was gathered. But Long Chen had 108,000 of them that he could use freely. He could use 100 of them at once. Or he could use a thousand of them. It all just depended on what he wanted. When it came to his control in his regard. He was even greater than the heaven splitting battle sects old man. Actually. He could have controlled the eighth form of split the heavens in just a short moment but he had concealed it in an attempt to weasel the ninth form out of the old man. It was like he was saying, look at how stupid I am. It took me forever to learn the eighth form. Even if you taught me the ninth form, I wouldn't be able to learn it. So it wouldn't be a big deal. However, the old man hadn't fallen for it. He hadn't even given Long Chen a crumb about the ninth form. As soon as Long Chen had learned the eighth form, he had been thinking about how he could use it. He had managed to infer many things from its base technique. As for this disciple of an everlasting family, he was truly powerful. Powerful enough to even surprise Long Chen. At the very least, he was much stronger than those awakened Empyreans he had fought before. Before this, Long Chen would have been forced to bring out his real power to handle him. But after merging the eighth form of Split the Heavens with his divine face slapping art, he managed to defeat him effortlessly and even put on such a marvelous show. Long Chen walked into the Huaian auction house, but Zheng Wenlong hadn't arrived yet. He had already alerted Zheng Wenlong yesterday that he was coming, so he was surprised that he wasn't here. As an outstanding businessman, Zheng Wenlong had always been the one waiting for him. It seemed that this was Long Chen's first time waiting for him. The attendant respectfully poured tea for Long Chen. She was also a disciple of the Huaian sect she was quite pretty, and her cultivation base had reached the life star realm. However, based on her aura, she had just broken through and couldn't control her aura perfectly yet. Long Chen sighed inside. Zheng Wenlong's life was really good. He actually had nether passage experts as bodyguards, as well as all kinds of attendants. Then he thought of himself. He was surrounded by enemies, not attendants. Should he switch professions and become a businessman? He shook his head. Making money as a businessman was slow. Plundering was much better. 
thinking of the mountains of spirit crystals inside the primal chaos space. He smiled. For Long Chen to suddenly smile made his attendant jump. Sorry, did I do something wrong? This attendant was young and nervous. After all, Long Chen was a peak genius who had shaken the continent. Normal people never had a chance to interact with him. If she hadn't advanced to the life star realm, she wouldn't be qualified to wait on him. For Long Chen to smile now, she thought that she had done something wrong. No, I'm just happy about some little business I finished recently, said Long Chen. Hearing that, the attendant calmed down. Your little business probably isn't small at all. We all heard of it. Here is your tea. The attendant passed over a cup of tea that she had just steeped with both hands. Long Chen thanked her and received it with both hands as well. That kind of etiquette surprised her as it was a very humble action. He was actually treating her as an equal. Sipping it, Long Chen said, You know of it as well? He, I'm sure it's nothing compared to the Huai insects business though. Although Long Chen had a vast sum on his body right now, that kind of wealth still made him a beggar in the eyes of the Huai insect with their terrifying foundation. He didn't want to be viewed as a country bumpkin. Speaking of which, what is Zheng Wenlong busy with? Asked Long Chen. He's a busy man. The various sects and families that have appeared recently are all business opportunities. He's gone to personally greet them, said the attendant. Long Chen nodded. Businessmen really were businessmen. They couldn't give up on any business opportunities. He was taking the initiative to greet these ancient powers without the slightest hesitation. Long Chen continued to chat with the attendant. Occasionally she would laugh. The time passed very quickly, and after two hours, Zheng Wenlong finally arrived, looking worn out from travel. He apologized. Sorry to make you wait. On my way back, we encountered an unconscious expert. We saved him and learned that it was actually someone from the everlasting families. Don't you think that's coincidental? Hmm. What is it? Cough. How curious. Who could beat up someone from the everlasting families asked Long Chen. I actually don't know. It wasn't convenient for me to ask him such a thing, said Zheng Wenlong. That final slap of Long Chen's had contained the true power of the eighth form of Split the Heavens. He had activated his divine ring, summoned his battle armor, and merged the power of his physical strength and astral energy. The eighth form of Split the Heavens was something that unleashed a will to split heaven and earth. But Long Chen's slap didn't contain any killing intent nor imposing aura, which had made his opponent unable to sense the danger. If it was a true killing blow, an expert would block or run based on their sense of danger. However, Long Chen's divine face slapping art was just that heaven defying. No, he wouldn't kill you. He would just slap you. Compared to the pain of the body, the pain of the mind was far more unendurable. Naturally, if Zheng Wenlong didn't specifically ask, it meant that he didn't know Long Chen had slapped that man. So Long Chen had no need to admit to it. Through Zheng Wenlong's explanation, Long Chen deduced that it was the one he had slapped. After realizing that he wasn't a match for Long Chen, he had probably decided to leave, only for his anger to grow greater and greater as he thought about it, resulting in him fainting eventually. That was how Zheng Wenlong had encountered him, as a businessman. Zheng Wenlong introduced him to the wide range of business that the Huai insect took part in after saving him, creating a foundation for future collaborations. Once that person left, Zheng Wenlong had rushed over. He entered through the western gate, not the eastern gate, so he didn't see the battlefield. Did you say that he was someone from the Dongfang Everlasting Family? asked Long Chen. Yes, Brother Long, you really are my lucky star. I actually managed to bump into someone from the Dongfang family on my way to see you. His name was Dongfang Wenying. Although he didn't say his exact status, based on his tone, he should have quite a high position in the Dongfang family. He, I haven't had much luck running around to the ancient sects that have been appearing, but I unexpectedly ran into such good fortune as soon as you came. Zheng Wenlong smiled. Having formed a connection with the Dongfang family would make any future business with them much easier. Trust me, I'm no lucky star. But how is it possible that you haven't had much luck with the others? Others should have no choice but to do business with the Huai insect. Are things not going well? Asked Long Chen. As expected, Zheng Wenlong sighed. 
He said that there were various reasons for this, one of which was that those ancient powers were too proud. Although the Huai insect's fame spoke for them, those powers actually ended up viewing them as beggars since they had taken the initiative to look for them. These ancient powers had profound foundations. They each had their own worlds that satisfied their needs. So they didn't care about any cooperation with the Huai insect to put it frankly. They were ancient powers that had sealed themselves off during the glorious time of the ancient era, allowing them to preserve many resources that no longer existed on the Martial Heaven continent. For Jung Wenlong to come find them now made them feel like the Huai insect was trying to trade trash for treasures. Do they have good stuff in their hands? Asked Long Chen, his eyes lighting up. He was always interested in treasures. Of course they do. Ancient plants and beasts that are extinct in our world are perfectly preserved in theirs. Amazing treasures. Secret arts. Magical arts of the ancient era. They have them all. That's why I went to see them. But the way they looked at me. Like I was a beggar. Ugh. It was quite a blow. Jung Wenlong sighed. Leaning back with a cup of tea. Even after exhausting himself to go see those ancient powers. He was merely met with disdain. It had been many years since such a thing had happened to him. Even as a businessman, he was starting to get angry. To face customers with an amicable smile was the teaching that the wealth god had left behind for them. But Jung Wenlong almost couldn't hold it in. Long Chen had felt a bit envious of Jung Wenlong's profession before this. But seeing his weary and exhausted appearance now, that envy faded. Ah, all I'm doing is complaining. We should get to our own business. Jung Wenlong clapped his forehead. This setback had made him forget his important business. Not at all. Having known you for so many years, I wanted to be like you. So I did some small businesses to scrape a living. But I didn't expect these little businesses to do so well. I now have a bunch of things that I can't get rid of. Hearing how tight things are on your side, I'm prepared to give a portion of those things to you. Long Chen laughed and began to take out one item after another. Jung Wenlong didn't know whether to laugh or cry. How was this business? This was clearly plundering. The matter of Long Chen demanding a protection fee at the channel of the Brahma secret realm was known throughout the continent. Perhaps only Long Chen would do something like that. What was inconceivable about it was that the people that Long Chen had robbed actually didn't feel much resentment toward him. Instead, they felt grateful after being robbed. Long Chen took out one treasure after another. Weapons, pills, armor, there were all sorts of items. Seeing the mountain of battle spoils, Jung Wenlong shook his head. Long Chen was truly vicious. He had not only gained a mountain of spirit crystals, but he had even gained this mountain of treasures. Hey, what's this? As he took out one item, Long Chen suddenly found it to be curious. It was a silk band with two bulges. Runes that he had never seen before were present on it. Jung Wenlong looked at it and his expression became odd. That's an item used by female cultivators who are nursing babies. Wearing it can induce milk production and make it easier to give the body's pure nutrients to the baby. Long Chen, you actually took away a female cultivator's personal item. What the fuck? Long Chen raged. I let the female cultivators in for free. Which rat bastard conned me like this? At the time, there had been too many people. It wasn't possible for Long Chen to examine what everyone had given him closely. Furthermore, it wasn't as if he was an expert at appraising treasures. If he judged it to be close enough, he let them in. Don't get angry. It truly is a decent treasure. Not many people have such a thing. So it's actually quite valuable. Comforted Jung Wenlong. Fine. Then I'll give it as a gift to you. I'm sure you and Beiling will be able to use it. Long Chen magnanimously tossed this special object to Jung Wenlong. Bei Ling was the female manager in charge of the Huaian Pavilion in the Phoenix Cry Empire, and she was one of the Huaian sect's disciples. The reason why Long Chen hadn't seen her in so long was because she was busy handling many things for Jung Wenlong. The only thing left was for them to get married. Noveloon.com Jung Wenlong had managed to advance step by step to his current position but he had always remained loyal to Bei Ling. This one point was worthy of Long Chen's admiration. Haha, <laughs> the great peak heavenly genius of the martial heaven continent is only sending me a single object? Isn't that a bit stingy? Although that was what he said. Jung Wenlong really took the object. 
You're really taking it. Why not? We've been preparing to get married for a few years now. I've just been too busy to properly accompany her. Once life settles down, I'll make sure Beiling can rest and raise children at home. It must be tiring for her to keep up with me, said Zheng Wenlong. But what about you, Brother Long? When are you preparing to get married me? Long Chen was startled. He bitterly smiled. I can't even give them a stable life. Why talk about marriage? If Zheng Wenlong owed Bei Ling, then Long Chen owed his women far too much. They were accompanying him across the narrow line between life and death. But they didn't complain. Once I stand at the peak of the martial path and have suppressed my opponents, when no one dares to mess with me, I should be able to give them a stable life. At that time, I'll make things up to them. Long Chen clenched his fists. If he wanted a stable life, he needed absolute power. Otherwise, people like the fellow he had slapped away today would continuously come to find trouble for them. Long Chen wasn't afraid of trouble, but he didn't want to implicate the people beside him. The reason Long Chen had intentionally humiliated that man was because he was so loathsome. He had actually stretched his hands out toward an innocent woman. So Long Chen didn't bother giving him any face. However, that was just one person. More would come if he didn't possess the level of power to make them give up before they tried. So cultivation had no way back. Even if he announced that he was leaving the cultivation world and going into seclusion, some people would still come to attack him. Hence, he couldn't slacken. He had to get stronger so he could protect his people. Zheng Wenlong called some people over to appraise the things that Long Chen had taken out. Those people made a list, but Long Chen didn't take it. According to Long Chen, he remembered his debts in his heart. If someone helped him, he would remember it. After giving those things to Zheng Wenlong, Long Chen asked him about the current situation of the continent. The Huaian sect was definitely number one in terms of information. According to Zheng Wenlong, Thousands of hidden powers had come out recently. They were all amazing existences whose target was the upcoming Qi flow eruption. That had waited all these years just for that one moment. Not only that, but the corrupt path, ancient races, Xuan beasts, ancient family alliance, and blood kill hall were preparing some big moves. Zheng Wenlong warned Long Chen to be careful. The two of them chatted for almost two hours before Long Chen had to leave. After hesitating for a moment, Long Chen went to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. It seemed that it had been a long time since he had been back. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. When Long Chen arrived in front of the gates of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, the disciples guarding the gates shouted excitedly. It had been a long time since Long Chen had returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect after the battle in the Yun Yang world. Hu Jinying had expelled Long Chen from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Infuriating the disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect Long Chen belonged to their sect he was their pride, as well as their pillar. After that, Long Chen had announced that he was establishing his own separate entity, the Dragonblood Legion. Although he said that he was allied with the Martial Heaven Alliance, it was still difficult to accept, especially to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. They had thought that he might never return. Long Chen patted those disciples on the shoulder with a smile. No matter where I go, we will still be a family. The Zhuanshan Dao sect is my home. Long Chen had deep feelings for the Zhuanshan Dao sect. He didn't want a disaster to befall it while he wasn't here. In the end, although the Dragonblood Legion was now an external existence, the Zhuanshan Dao sect still existed in his heart. When Long Chen walked in, the entire sect became chaotic. Even some disciples in seclusion came running out. Long Chen. You finally returned. I thought that you no longer cared about us, said Hua Xiaoyu. Her eyes read. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, Su Mo, Mu Qingxuan. All the experts that had once fought alongside him came over, filled with various emotions. Let me tell you, such words have to be kept on the down low. Don't let that jealous girl of mine hear them, or she won't let me have the end of it, joked Long Chen. Hua Xiaoyu reddened. But this joking manner only made them feel that Long Chen was still Long Chen. I'll go pay my respects to the Xuan master first. Once I come back, we'll have a real drink. I'll treat you to some fish. Long Chen waved to them. This place was the Zhuanshan Dao sect, his home. He had to greet the Xuan master first, 
or it would be rude. Xuan Master, Patriarch. Long Chen walked into the Zhuangshan Tower. At the top level, he bowed toward Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch. Really, you? Well, just sit first. Originally, Li Xiangxuan had wanted to chide Long Chen for his actions recently, but seeing him well, he couldn't be bothered to say anything. Due to guaranteeing that Long Chen would survive, Li Xiangxuan had been under immense pressure. It was his first time feeling like he might be crushed by that invisible pressure. Each day had been a kind of torment for him. However, when it came to Long Chen, Li Xiangxuan didn't know what to do either. Long Chen's intelligence was not inferior to his, and yet he always did some dumbfoundingly stupid things. I've implicated you. Please accept this wine as my apology. Long Chen directly took out a jug. He knew that he was still too young. He hadn't expected the old man to actually want to charge into Pill Valley to save him. If Li Xiangxuan hadn't stopped him, Long Chen would have been filled with shame over that matter. All right, I can't be bothered to say anything about it. The Qi flow eruption is imminent. Various powers are surfacing, and all kinds of monsters are coming out. This world belongs to the young. We can only be spectators, so just do as you please. Li Xiangxuan sighed. Receiving the wine. This offering of Long Chen's was the wine that the high priest had given him. He was actually giving it away instead of drinking it himself. But he didn't feel any pain over it. The patriarch said, Based on your tone, are you saying that you're old as well now? Then what about a real old timer like me? Li Xiangxuan laughed and passed the wine to him. After a few bowls of the wine had entered their bellies, they had discussed the current situation and Li Xiangxuan had finished asking Long Chen about what had happened in Pill Valley. Upon hearing the details, Li Xiangxuan's expression became a bit grave. He had an urge to say something, but he chose not to in the end. Eventually, Long Chen left. Watching him leave, the patriarch asked, What did you want to say? Li Xiangxuan said, I feel like the Qi flow eruption coming early is strange. It might be something that Pill Valley did. Pill Valley? You really think that's possible actually? I feel like there is some unspeakable secret behind why Pill Valley opened the Brahma secret realm open to everyone. Long Chen might have ruined their plan, but this Qi flow eruption might be another plot of theirs. If you had such a guess, why didn't you tell Long Chen? Li Xiangxuan shook his head. If this really was something that Pill Valley did, then speaking of it is definitely not a good thing. Pill Valley forcibly changed the flow of the heavenly deos. This is an act against the heavens, and I don't know what trump card Pill Valley has to dare do such a thing, but any karma related to it is definitely serious, and I can't implicate Long Chen with it. The patriarch could only sigh upon hearing that. Just what is Pill Valley up to? Li Xiangxuan began to pace. I don't understand this move of Yu Ziaoyan's. Perhaps it's related to the gods with something so huge. Don't you think you should at least subtly indicate something to Long Chen? This relates to the heavenly deos, and the entire continent's chi flow. If Pill Valley wants to scheme against the heavens, let them. I refuse to believe a person's schemes can go against the heavens. Even if this world has declined, it's still not something that can be schemed against. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. Furthermore Li Xiangxuan cast his gaze toward the plaza where Long Chen was speaking with Hua Xiaoyu, Wang Zhen, and the others. He smiled coldly. Furthermore, a divergent was an existence not even the heavens could control. No matter how great the scheme, if it encountered Long Chen, countless unexpected things would occur. Whoever schemed against Long Chen would not have a good end. Heavenly Fate Island was a perfect example but Pill Valley hadn't viewed them as a warning for their actions. Instead, they decided to go on an even grander scale. Li Xiangxuan really wanted to see just what Yu Ziaoyan was relying on. Long Chen stayed a night with the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples, drinking with them until the sky lit up once more. It was like they had returned to their days of celebrating after defeating the sea demon tide at the Eastern Sea. However, the next day, Long Chen left. He sat in a transportation formation straight for the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters. As expected, as soon as he saw Ku Jinying, she went crazy. Fortunately, Long Chen had come prepared. 
He had first found Yilingshan before seeing Kujian Ying Novelun.com. Yilingshan naturally understood and held back her master, allowing Long Chen to avoid his awkward fate. After all, Kujian Ying was his senior, and he couldn't retaliate. Once Kujian Ying's rage faded, Long Chen hastily handed over a jug of wine. He knew that the people that cared about him the most had been very worried during this time, so Long Chen had no intention of fighting back. He was prepared to face the scolding and cursing. In any case, there was no way she would really kill him. Do you think I'm the same as that old ghost? Is this little piss wine supposed to calm me down? Snorted Kujianying. Isn't this because I'm acknowledging my mistake? It's fine if you want to beat and curse me, but I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself in your fury. Then my mistake would get even worse. Chortled Long Chen, knowing that Kujianying's rage had passed. However, Upon seeing that naughty smile of his, Hu Jianying's rage returned. You little bastard. You better start behaving yourself now. Various powerful existences have come out because the Qi flow eruption is coming. Those hidden sects are all appearing, and any balance that exists currently is hanging by the slightest thread. There hasn't been any huge fighting yet, but you aren't permitted to cause any chaos. The ancient powers appeared after the phenomenon had occurred. As a result, the conflicts between the original powers of the continent had instantly resolved, as they could no longer afford to keep fighting amongst themselves. Now, none of them was thinking about fighting. The current situation on the continent was very strange. Although it looked like all kinds of marvelous geniuses were appearing, there were hidden undercurrents. Whether it was the Martial Heaven Alliance, Pill Valley, the ancient races, or the corrupt path, they were all just keeping watch. In other words, all the trouble that Long Chen had caused before had been forcibly wiped away for now. This was a rare chance to gain some breathing room. Hence, she needed to make sure that Long Chen didn't cause any new trouble for now. Listen well, the everlasting families have a certain relationship with the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hold yourself back. Do not go offend them. Understood. Warned Kujianying. Ah what if they provoke me first? Asked Long Chen. Even then, you have to endure it for me, raged Kujianying. Just at this momentum, an elder walked in, respectfully reporting, Alliance head, experts from the Dongfang family have come to give their greetings. During these days, quite a few ancient powers that had come out recently had sent a few of their people to the Martial Heaven Alliance. It could count as an expression of goodwill. Many of those sects and powers had had relationships with the Martial Heaven Alliance before sealing themselves off. By sending people over, they were both indicating that they hadn't forgotten that past relationship as well as telling the Martial Heaven Alliance to announce to the world that they had returned. Although there were also ancient powers resurfacing amongst the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and even the corrupt path. The majority of the powers coming out were connected to the Martial Heaven Alliance. That was why this return of the ancient powers was not a bad thing to the Martial Heaven Alliance. With them present, the Martial Heaven Alliance would not be forced into a passive position. The Dongfang family? Who are they? Asked Long Chen. They are one of the four everlasting families. They existed in the same glorious era as the sovereigns, and their foundations run deep. Come greet them with me. We can't make them wait, said Kujianying. Then I just won't go. I'm thinking of going to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race next. I still have a lot to do. Long Chen wasn't interested in the everlasting families. He understood Kujianying's meaning. She wanted him to come so that at the very least, he was a familiar face to the people of the everlasting families. That would make it easier for him to form connections in the future. But Long Chen was never in the habit of doing such a thing. If you helped him, he would help you. But asking him to curry favor was impossible. You have to. Hu Jianying directly ordered him, not giving him any room to negotiate. Come on, you are the Martial Heaven Alliance's number one genius. If you weren't here, then it wouldn't matter. But since you are here, if you don't go, wouldn't that mean that you were putting on airs? Said Yi Lingxin with a smile. Long Chen was startled, not expecting Yi Lingxin to possess such eloquence. She left him with no room to retreat. Not everyone is as bad as you imagine. Many of those ancient experts have their own elegance. 
They are also geniuses that crushed their generation, and they're not necessarily your enemy. Having more friends is good. Seeing Long Chen hesitate, Yi Lingxin pulled him away. Long Chen helplessly followed. Within the palace, there was a group of young men and women waiting for them. They were all young. The men were handsome and the women were beautiful. They wore white robes, looking like transcendent figures. Their leader was a particularly handsome man. His face was enough to infatuate countless women. He wore a jade belt and a golden crown that made him look grand and majestic without appearing tyrannical. Even Long Chen had to admit that this man was very handsome. It was the kind of appearance that posed the greatest threat to a woman's heart. Seeing Ku Jinying, Long Chen, and Yi Lingxin, this man bowed. Disciple Dong Fang Yuiang greets the alliance head. The old family head is old in years, so it wasn't convenient for him to come. He sent this little one to express his sincerest regret. His voice was also warm like jade, and he acted in a refined manner that was neither servile nor overbearing. It was definitely the perfect style for a disciple from a major family. This Dongfang Yuiang possessed a special kind of charisma. He seemed mature, steady, and capable, giving people a feeling like they could trust him. Upon hearing his name, Hu Jinying and Yi Lingxin were startled. There was a record of supreme experts within the Martial Heaven Alliance's historical records. From the records, they knew that he was a supreme expert from 8,000 years ago, the greatest genius of the Dongfang family. When he was born, he had caused a heavenly manifestation to descend and envelop the entire Dongfang family, so he had been viewed importantly by the family ever since he was born. The result of that special care was that Dongfang Yuiang was born with an innate connection to the heavenly deos. He didn't face a single obstacle on his cultivation path. It was like he was protected by the heavenly deos and was a true son of the heavens. All the heavenly geniuses of his era were eclipsed by his glory. They could only nurse their pride in the dark. Although Dongfang Yuiang had only been a life star disciple at that time, he was unrivaled within his generation. It was said that even a nether passage expert of the third step had been slain by him. In his era, that was the peak of the continent. That was why at that time, the Dongfang family had decided that they could not allow Dongfang Yuiang to simply roam around the world. They had sealed him and gone into seclusion, awaiting the great era. With the chief flow eruption coming up, Dongfang Yuiang was woken from his seal. He was clearly aiming to become a sovereign. Such a figure had actually personally come to the Martial Heaven Alliance and spoken as a disciple. You're too courteous. To personally witness the glory of the peak genius of 8,000 years ago is our blessing, said Ku Jinying when she recovered from her shock. I was sealed when I was only 36 years old, so the way I speak might have some discrepancies with the current era. I hope you'll forgive me if I'm lacking in etiquette. This is just a small gift from my Dongfang family. I hope that you won't laugh at its contents. Dongfang Yuiang beckoned, and a woman behind him walked forward with a jade case. The Dongfang family is too courteous. Ku Jinying smiled. Yi Lingxin walked forward and accepted the jade case, expressing her thanks to Dongfang Yuiang. I heard that the successor of the Martial Heaven Alliance was a nation toppling beauty. Now I see that it's true. Most amazing of all, your manifestation is in the midst of evolving. You'll be able to awaken it within 10 days. Let me congratulate you ahead of time, said Dongfang Yuiang. Hu Jinying and Yi Lingxin were both badly startled by this. Yi Lingxin just came out of seclusion three days ago as Hu Jinying had opened the Martial Heaven Alliance's Divine Spring for her. The Martial Heaven Alliance only had a little bit of that divine liquid left, enough for just one person. Thanks to that, Yi Lingxin's manifestation had started to progress. There really were signs that she was about to fully awaken her manifestation. However, that matter was something Yi Lingxin had only told Ku Jinying. No one else had known about it. Yi Lingxin was not releasing her aura, but Dongfang Yuiang had still noticed some clues. His gaze was shockingly sharp. His cultivation base had reached an unfathomable level. Miss Lingxin, please don't blame me for being rude. When I awakened my manifestation, I also went through this process, which is why I sensed it. I wasn't trying to pry. I only said that because I was happy that another awakened Empyrean will soon be appearing within our human race, said Dongfang Yuiang hastily. No, 
I'm not angry. I'm simply amazed by your perceptiveness, said Yi Lingxian. She wasn't angry. She looked at her master. Having taken the jade case, she didn't know if she was supposed to put it away or open it. This is just a small gift from the Dongfang family. You can open it and look. To tell the truth, this was arranged by the family head. So even I don't know what's inside, said Dongfang Yuyang. Hearing that, they naturally had to open the case. Seeing her master nod, Yi Lingxian was about to open it when Long Chen, who hadn't said anything this entire time, suddenly said, Be careful of being bitten. Hu Jinying's expression immediately darkened. Why did this little brat have to be so similar to the old man? Those disciples of the Dongfang family immediately glared at him coldly. Was Long Chen doubting their sincerity? On the other hand, Dongfang Yuyang didn't show any displeasure. He looked at Long Chen, a faint light shining within his eyes. You must be the current world's number one expert, Long Chen. Seeing you today, I must say that you really are a dragon amongst men. Nice to meet you. You're too courteous. I wouldn't dare to be called the world's number one expert. Compared to the geniuses that once dominated their generation like you, I definitely can't compare. You were all unrivaled, while I'm beaten black and blue. Originally, I was hoping to make a living with my handsomeness, but after seeing you, it seems I'll have to change plans, or I might starve to death. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Ha ha ha, brother Long is too humble. Such direct words show a clear heart. It was definitely the right thing to come here today. I'm happy to see Sister Lingxian and Brother Long's abilities, said Dongfang Yuyang. The tense atmosphere once more relaxed. Hu Jinying sighed with relief. Dongfang Yuyang was a genius of the ancient era. When it came to his accomplishments or fame, he was greater than Long Chen. She truly hoped that Long Chen could have some allies like this. Long Chen had practically flipped the continent, and the world was filled with his enemies. She really was worried that Long Chen would die one day. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance was powerful and known as the continent's number one alliance, they weren't completely united, and so when it came to reliability, they could not compare to the immense power of an everlasting family. Seeing that Dongfang Yuyang could talk and laugh with Long Chen, she felt much more at ease. She told Yi Lingxian, go ahead and open it, let's see what's inside. La Lingxian nodded and was about to open it when Long Chen once more spoke. Be careful of being bitten. Hu Jinying's expression changed, and she was so angry that she had an urge to slap Long Chen. As for those disciples that had come with Dongfang Yuyang, killing intent started to manifest within them. Yi Lingxian was also infuriated. Why was Long Chen set on insulting the people of the Dongfang family? By saying that this gift could bite. He was saying that they shouldn't randomly accept other people's things for fear that they would be bitten. He indicated that the Dongfang family was not sincere. That was extremely rude. Let alone an everlasting family. Even a normal sect wouldn't accept being insulted like this. Stop messing around. Let's see what's inside. Yi Lingxian glared at Long Chen. Afraid of anything more happening. She immediately opened the jade case. A burst of light instantly erupted from within. Making everyone jump. Yi Lingxian suddenly felt a sharp pain on her wrist. Something had bitten her, causing her to bleed. All of a sudden, a ray of light shot out from within. Long Chen was about to grab it when Dongfang Yuyang waved his hand, and light condensed into a prison around that object. Once trapped, people realized it was actually a jade white snow marten. It was a foot long, and white light continued to shine out of it. They couldn't sense its aura, so they didn't know what level of beast it was. So there really was danger of being bitten. Hu Jinying and the disciples of the Dongfang family stared at Long Chen in shock. Long Chen had actually known what was inside. That little snow marten suddenly smashed itself into Dongfang Yuyang's prison, causing it to shake. The heavenly deos began to rumble. Its power did not lose out to an ordinary Empyrean. Return to your original form. Dongfang Yuyang smiled and waved his hand. His prison forcibly compressed the snow marten. A strange cry came from the snow marten, and it suddenly transformed into a medicinal pill. A vague image of a snow marten could be seen jumping within the pill. I didn't expect the family had to actually send a precious 11th tier medicinal pill. Dongfang Yuyang passed the medicinal pill to Yi Lingxian. 
Yi Lingxin received it. Sensing the thrumming power within it, she was stunned. This medicinal pill actually contained a shocking amount of power. That amount of power was enough to kill an ordinary expert if it was consumed. An 11th tier medicinal pill was just a legend on the continent. Rumor was that all 11th tier medicinal pills were terrifying. This gift is too precious. Please transmit our thanks to your family head, said Kujinying. Even for Kujinying, this was her first time seeing an 11th tier medicinal pill. Such a pill was extremely precious. The Dongfang family clearly had a high opinion of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Elating Kujinying, Brother Long, you actually knew what was inside? Amazing. I heard you're also an amazing alchemist, asked Dongfang Yuyang. This 11th tier medicinal pill had been sealed inside the case and isolated by a formation to make it impossible to sense it. But Long Chen had actually known from the start. Most shocking of all, he had even known that it would bite. I wouldn't dare to accept such praise. It can only be said that I have some skill in that regard. This is a star expansion snow dragon pill. The two main ingredients are the strange call drop snow martin's crystal core and the rock piercing earth dragon's marrow. The strange call drop snow martin is especially ferocious. Anything that approaches its territory will immediately face an attack, even if it's stronger. This pill contains its will, so it's natural that as soon as it's open, it will bite people. There's no suspense at all about that. I even warned you, but you refused to listen, so you can't blame me. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Yi Lingxin had managed to stop the bleeding, but there was some strange energy on the wound that gave her a fiery stinging pain. Her heavenly Tao energy was unable to immediately heal it. If you clearly knew, why didn't you help? Demanded Yi Lingxin angrily. I'm also afraid of being bitten, said Long Chen innocently. Yi Lingxin glared at him. He had definitely done this on purpose and was now acting like this was the result of not listening to a good person. He was definitely evil. What's the effect of this star expansion snow dragon pill? Asked Kujinying. Even Kujinying was curious about 11th tier medicinal pills. Based on the envious expressions of these disciples from the Dongfang family, this pill had to be something precious even within the Dongfang family. The star expansion snow dragon pill is pretty good. This is a top tier pill that had gone through the baptism of heavenly lightning and given birth to its own spirit. The formation on the jade case has expelled its impurities and increased its medicinal effect. This pill has at least 10,000 years of history. The star expansion snow dragon pill has the effect of allowing one's astral space to grow a second time. If used perfectly, it's possible to increase one's astral space by 30%. As for what a 30% increase means, I'm sure I don't need to elaborate further, said Long Chen. When it came to his knowledge about 11th tier medicinal pills, Long Chen had obtained quite a bit of it from the Brahma Divine Palace's inheritance orb, but that only made up for a portion of his knowledge. After he had seen that beautiful woman in the Divine Spring, he gained a mass of new information. Even he wasn't aware of some of the information he had gotten then. It was because of that information that Long Chen could deduce what pill was inside the case even though it was fully sealed and why he knew that once it was opened, it would definitely bite. This gift is too precious. Please pass on my sincerest gratitude, said Kujin Ying once more. This gift was perfect for Yi Lingxin. To expand one's astral space by 30% was a heaven-defying ability. Alliance head is too courteous. Although the Dongfang family has been in seclusion for many years, we had a deep relationship with the Martial Heaven Alliance. As the descendants of that generation, we have to uphold their will. I heard that the current martial heaven continent has started to grow chaotic due to the various races growing arrogant with the coming of the great era. My family had sent me to say that the martial heaven alliance is part of our family as well. And no matter what happens, we will stand beside the martial heaven alliance, said Dongfang Yuyang. Hearing that, Ku Ying was moved inside. For an everlasting family to stand beside the Martial Heaven Alliance meant that they had gained a very dependable ally. As for the various races that Dongfang Yuyang mentioned, that was referring to the ancient races and the Xuan beasts. Clearly, the Dongfang family was not ambiguous about what race they stood by. I came here to pay our respects to the Alliance, but I also have to beg the Alliance head for help, said Dongfang Yuyang. 
Oh, please, ask away, said Ku Jinying. The Dongfang, Zeman, Nangong, and Bidang families have joined together with some ancient sects and powers to hold a gathering of past and present heroes on the first day of the upcoming month. The goal is to have the various geniuses have a chance to get to know each other. With the great era present, we should familiarize ourselves with each other. Every major power can send their most outstanding genius to attend. Naturally, the Martial Heaven Alliance can send Sister Yi Lingxin as a representative. As for Brother Long, he's not just a supreme expert but also the founder of the Dragonblood Legion. He has to attend. These are two invitation cards. Dongfang Yuiang handed the two invitation cards over. What I ask is for the Alliance head to help us announce this matter. Our four everlasting families still have some face, so those who know us will definitely come. But if the information does not reach people, many old friends won't be aware of this matter. Don't worry, I will make sure that this information is spread throughout every corner of the continent in less than a day, said Ku Jinying. This was a minor matter for her. Then many thanks, Sister Lingxin, Brother Long. You two definitely have to come. If you don't, then it won't be as fun, said Dongfang Yuiang. Yi Lingxin was startled to find that the invitation card was made of immortal gold. It was both tough and flexible. It was unknown which craftsman was capable of combining such contradictory properties into something so beautiful. At first, the invitation card was blank. But once Dongfang Yuiang handed them over, Yi Lingxin and Long Chen's names appeared on top of them. For this kind of immortal gold, even a divine item wouldn't be able to leave a scratch unless it was wielded by a supreme expert. But Dongfang Yuiang was able to brand their names onto it without blinking, and Yi Lingxin hadn't even noticed how he had done it. She couldn't help feeling a sincere admiration for the geniuses of the ancient era. Yi Lingxin received her invitation card and thanked him. After all, to be able to attend a gathering with the geniuses of the ancient era was a great honor and a good opportunity. However, when Dongfang Yuiang offered his invitation card to Long Chen, the latter shook his head. Thank you for your kindness, but to tell the truth, I don't really want to go. I have too many enemies, and my temper isn't good. If I can't hold back, I might start fighting with the people there, and that wouldn't be good. Yi Lingxin couldn't help feeling disappointed. If Long Chen didn't go, then that gathering really would be less fun. However, it was true. With Long Chen's temper, if someone insulted him, wouldn't he immediately slap them? Yi Lingxin looked at Dongfang Yuiang. If Long Chen didn't go, then she didn't really want to go either. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long, you're worrying too much. This gathering will include experts from every era. Even if the other side is your enemies, they won't immediately become hostile to you. The scale you're thinking on is too small, said Dongfang Yuiang. Furthermore, you will find that not everyone is your enemy. You'll be able to make a few friends as well. You'll be able to meet the peerless heroes of different eras. And of course there will be some peerless beauties as well. I heard that Brother Long's charisma is quite astonishing. Perhaps you'll be able to return with a few beauties afterward. Long Chen still shook his head. None of that was attractive to him. He didn't want to go to this gathering because he always felt that wherever he went with many people, nothing good would happen to him. This matter doesn't just involve you. You have to accompany Lingxin, said Ku Jinying directly. If you don't go, I'll tell that old man that a certain someone raised a coward who doesn't even dare to go to a meeting. Damn, there's no need to be so evil. Long Chen was speechless. If she really said that to the old man, Long Chen would definitely have a conversation with the old man and his cane. He wouldn't let any disciple of the heaven-splitting battle sect have the title of coward. Well, it's all up to whether or not you decide to go, snorted Ku Jinying. Long Chen really was infuriating her. Dongfang Yuiang was actually offering to be an intermediary for him to get to know the various heroes of past times. It was a huge opportunity. The Great Era was reaching its final phase and the chief low eruption was coming soon. If he didn't manage to make some allies at this time, it would be too late when the time came. This was no longer the old marital heaven continent. It was not a time where a single person was capable of crushing everyone else. Fine, I'll go, said Long Chen helplessly. He accepted the invitation card. 
This was definitely pushing him beyond his ability. He grumbled inside. He knew that he would definitely see people that he didn't want to see at that gathering. Seeing Long Chen reluctantly accept Dong Fang Yuyang's invitation, the disciples that had come with him sneered. They clearly thought that Long Chen was acting. After all, this invitation wasn't something that just anyone was qualified to receive. Who knew how many people were begging to get one only to be refused? In comparison to them, Dong Fang Yuyang maintained a polite and graceful smile the entire time. It seemed he wasn't displeased with Long Chen's actions in the slightest. I know that you're all busy, so I won't disturb you any longer. As long as you can announce the time, location, and conditions for the gathering, that will be enough. I'll take my leave now. Dong Fang Yuyang once more bowed before leaving. Once they were gone, Hu Jin Ying couldn't help sighing. He truly is worthy of being a figure who led an entire era. Every one of his movements contains the grace of a supreme expert. This is the power of the everlasting families. Other powers with such ancient inheritances would end up acting like pleased petty little people as soon as they produce a few experts. Some people are never able to develop the same level of nobility Dong Fang Yuyang's arrival had made Ku Jin Ying bear witness to the foundation and inheritance of the everlasting families. Every movement of Dong Fang Yuyang's possessed the mannerisms of a king. What are you looking at me for? Are you saying I'm not as handsome? Said Long Chen. Hu Jin Ying shook her head. In terms of looks, you aren't inferior. In terms of power, there's no way to know since you haven't exchanged blows. But look at his steady bearing. When will you be able to compare to that? When will you stop being so sloppy and start acting like a real expert? Yi Lingxin laughed to the side upon seeing Ku Jin Ying chide Long Chen. There really were only a handful of people who could chide Long Chen like this. I'm not an expert, so why would I need that kind of bearing? Grumbled Long Chen. Fine, just scram. There's no way for me to talk to you. You're just like that damn old man. Cursed Ku Jin Ying. Having Yi Lingxin send Long Chen off. Long Chen rolled his eyes. He had known that he never should have agreed. On the way. Yi Lingxin said, Long Chen, what do you think about Dong Fang Yuyang's power? Unfathomable Long Chen could only say a single word. Dong Fang Yuyang most likely trained in some kind of special cultivation technique. His aura was completely sealed. There was no way to see anything about his cultivation base, his bloodline, or his soul. The thing that had shocked Long Chen the most was when Dong Fang Yuyang had suppressed that 11th tier medicinal pill. Long Chen had intentionally been slow at that time in order to see what Dong Fang Yuyang would do. When Dong Fang Yuyang had waved his hand at that time, a divine rune had appeared on his palm. In that instant, the power that he had used was entirely the heavenly Tao energy of the outside world. It was like he could command the laws of heaven and earth. He hadn't exposed the slightest bit of his own power. However, since Long Chen cultivated the Nine Star Hegemon body art, Although he couldn't see through Dong Fang Yuyang, he could sense a mountain-like pressure from him. Within the same realm, the only ones capable of giving him such pressure before were Len Yuyan and the Pill Fairy. Now another one had appeared. Long Chen, don't blame Master. She has always treated you like her own child. With the changing of times, perhaps you should change your style. Perhaps you've already gotten used to being the main character of this era but now the main characters of other eras have appeared. No matter how strong a person is, they can't suppress this era. Other than, other than a sovereign, said Long Chen. Only a sovereign could suppress all other existences, including gods and devils. They stood at the peak of this world. Yi Lingxin looked at Long Chen as though she wanted to say something. Long Chen laughed. It's all right. You can say it. You mean to say that the next sovereign cannot be me. So if I want to live, I have to be better behaved. Right. The five generations of sovereigns had all worn white. This was common knowledge. Legend said that only experts with completely pure hearts determined to protect all life on the martial heaven continent could become sovereigns. Although Yi Lingxin didn't have the vision of the high priest, she knew that there was no way Long Chen could become a legendary sovereign. One reason was his black clothes. Although it couldn't be said that his heart was black. His Tao was definitely different from the Tao of the Sovereigns. The other reason was that Long Chen did not possess that bearing of the Sovereigns that had led their entire generation. Yes, 
Long Chen possessed astonishing charisma, but that was limited to only a portion of this generation. The sovereigns had possessed a quality that had won over everyone within the world. The successive generations of sovereigns had been unrivaled, not just because of their martial power, but because of a certain bearing that could win over their enemies. As for Long Chen, countless people had slandered and framed him. That had never stopped. It wasn't just Yi Lingxian who had noticed this. Hu Jinying had long since come to the same conclusion. So Long Chen had to join others if he wished to survive. Long Chen, have you ever thought about your own position? Asked Ji Lingxian. People needed goals in life. Otherwise, if they only took things as they came with no target in mind, they would simply drift away. Without any foundation, they could collapse at any moment. My position? That's probably too far to discuss. Let's not talk about such meaningless things. A human is an existence that is very hard to change. Just like the old man and the alliance head. Despite clearly being in love, they are unable to be together. They know their own shortcomings and know that they should be more accommodating and patient. But despite understanding it, they can't actually do it. There's no absolute right or wrong. Which is why everyone gives different answers. They have different viewpoints. I have my merits and deficits. And I'm aware of them. But just knowing isn't enough. So getting back to the topic. I am just like this. And I have no position. Cultivation is a path of no return, and to put it simply, I will simply live as I have been. All right, we've reached the transportation formation, so I'll take my leave. Also, don't end up falling for Dongfang Yuyang, or I'll feel disappointed. With a laugh, Long Chen entered the transportation formation. Before Yi Lingxian could even retort, he had vanished. Yi Lingxian shook her head. Long Chen was not just one thing, good and bad. Arrogant and humble, icy and warm, callous and humorous. He was also intelligent but sometimes did hopelessly stupid things. Long Chen walked out of the transportation formation. When the twisting space returned to normal, he found himself on the peak of a mountain. Nine tall mountains were surrounding this mountain. Divine light could be seen sparkling within fluctuations in the sky. This place was the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race's new territory. Unexpectedly, the grand formation had already been completed. This grand formation was extremely powerful. Boss, you're back. A pleasantly surprised shout rang out. A squad of dragon blood warriors flew over to Long Chen. In truth, the construction of this place was still finishing up. Since the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race didn't know anything about formations, it was up to the dragon blood warriors to keep an eye on things. Naturally, the core construction of the formation had been done by Xia Chen, but they also had to hire many craftsmen. In order to prevent anyone from intentionally sabotaging things, there had to be people patrolling while they worked. In the Grand Han's capital, Xia Chen had disguised himself as a high-level formation master and ended up conning the Grand Han. He had not only charged them an enormous amount of money, but he had also caused a powerful barrier to appear that had allowed Long Chen to slaughter more of his enemies. Xia Chen had conned others, but he definitely wouldn't allow others to con him. So all the details had to be closely guarded. Boss, when the Dragon Blood Warriors got close, Long Chen found that they had reached the fourth vestige of Life Star. He trusted that Gu Yang and the others must have reached a higher level than that. As for himself, his cultivation base was still stuck in the same place. Just thinking about it gave him a headache. It seemed that he was doomed to be the one with the lowest cultivation base within the Dragon Blood Legion. Has anything happened lately? Asked Long Chen. The construction has gone smoothly. No one has caused any trouble. A few spies appeared at the beginning, but they have been slaughtered. However, after a moment's hesitation, that Dragon Blood warrior said, Recently, a few people have come to challenge the Dragon Blood Legion. Long Chen frowned. It was definitely those disciples from the ancient sects. After hearing that the Dragon Blood Legion was the continent's number one Legion, they had come. Have you had any conflicts with them? Asked Long Chen. No. Captain Gu Yang told us to ignore them and focus on our work. Let the dogs bark. Laughed one of them. Long Chen smiled. That truly was the right choice. Handling some meaningless provocations wasn't worth delaying their cultivation. Dragonblood Legion, 
Come out to fight. Just at this moment, a powerful shout rang out, passing through the formation. This was definitely a powerful cultivator, most likely an Empyrean who had awakened their manifestation. Look, it's another one. Ignore them. As long as they don't enter our territory, let them shout. If they do enter though, just directly kill them, said Long Chen. After that, the Dragonblood warriors continued their patrol, while Long Chen went straight to a mountain peak. News of Long Chen's return quickly spread through the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. Even their leader personally came to see him. Long Chen found that the auras of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrows had gone through heaven-toppling transformations. The aura of ancient beasts was finally manifesting itself. This was all thanks to Meng Qi. She had opened the myriad spirit diagram to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, allowing them to train in their lost divine abilities. If they didn't understand something, they could go in and receive their complete inheritance. Those lost divine abilities were finally once more within their control. It could be said that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's power was growing with each passing day. They were originally a very powerful race, and now that they were regaining their inheritance, they only grew more terrifying. Their leader gave Long Chen a brief explanation of what was going on within the race. They were rapidly growing stronger, and due to the chi flow of the continent swelling, Hundreds of Empyreans had appeared amongst the junior generation. Although none of them had awakened their manifestations, it made them go wild with joy. After talking to her, Long Chen returned to the Dragonblood Legion's territory. Most of the Dragonblood warriors were in seclusion, working hard on their cultivation. Only a portion of them were busy patrolling. The territory of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had been sealed. Hu Jinying and the others had concealed the information that Long Chen had gone to Pill Valley from them, worried that the Dragonblood Legion would do something stupid. That was why the warriors weren't too emotional about Long Chen's return. They didn't know what he had been up to recently. To cultivators, a few months might just be a short period of seclusion. Scoundrel, you're finally back. Speak. How many ladies did you seduce this time? Long Chen had just entered Meng Qi and the other's residence when a tigress-like Tang Wan'er pounced on him, grabbing his neck with a frightening expression. How could the ladies in the outside world compare to the ones in my own home? If I were to seduce anyone, it would be the ones in my home already, right? Long Chen chortled, holding Tang Wan'er's waist and then slowly moving his hands down. Tang Wan'er let out a cry, immediately releasing Long Chen and retreating, cursing. HMPH, and you say you didn't seduce anyone? Your methods are always scoundrel like. Haha, <laughs> touching, grabbing, it's very delightful. Don't worry, you'll be a bit sensitive at the start, but you'll get used to it soon enough, said Long Chen wickedly. Tang Wan'er was as fiery as ever, but this was also her cutest side. Wan'er, how many times have I told you that you'll always be at a disadvantage fighting him? At this time, Men Chi and Chu Yao walked in as well. Come, just now I hugged one or, but I can't discriminate against you two. I'll treat you fairly. Let's all have a hug. Long Chen reached out to hug Chu Yao. Chu Yao blushed, but she pulled him into a tight embrace. After hugging Chu Yao, Long Chen turned to Men Chi, but Men Chi raised a hand, sternly saying, Hold it. First, tell me what you've been up to lately. Why did the Alliance head hide your whereabouts could it be? He really did go out to cheat, demanded Tang Wan'er. You, Men Chi sighed. Why are you always thinking about such things? The Alliance had ordered this place to be sealed with the excuse of focusing on the construction, but that was obviously implausible. Just based on her expression at the time, I knew something was wrong. This matter is definitely related to you, right? Men Chi was very scrupulous. Although she had sensed something wrong, she hadn't said anything to the others. She only brought it up now that Long Chen had returned. Long Chen could only calmly explain what he had done in Pill Valley. Although he made it sound easy, Meng Chi and the others still turned pale. Long Chen was truly brazen or perhaps suicidal. Before they could say anything, Long Chen raised his hands and regretfully said, First, I admit my wrongs. I shouldn't have taken this risk and made you worry. So, I will accept any punishment. If you want to take off my pants and touch whatever, it's up to you. 
I won't resist. I'll do my best to cooperate, scoundrel. Rogue. Shameless Menchi and the others were originally angry at being kept in the dark, only to blush from how shameless he was. Menchi looked at Long Chen with pain in her eyes. Long Chen looked like he had gotten thinner. You must be tired. Go take a bath. We have our own hot spring inside. There's dense spiritual chi within. Bathing in it is very comfortable within the depths of the immortal cave was a small spring a few meters wide. Dense vapor hung in the air. Long Chen sank inside it, while Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er accompanied him with their clothes still on. With the spring water, their curves were fully exposed. They blushed, but six beautiful hands helped to clean Long Chen. In the end, Tang Wan'er was the first to no longer be able to endure, and she began to cry. Meng Chi and Chu Yao also had red eyes. They saw many scars on Long Chen's body and injuries that had yet to heal. There was a remnant of heavenly Tao energy within them. Just from these injuries, they could tell how intense that battle must have been. There was even a long scab on the back of Long Chen's neck. Someone had clearly tried to cut his head off from behind. Although Long Chen had put it lightly, seeing those sinister wounds distressed them. After following Long Chen for so many years, they were well aware of his monstrous recovery abilities. They were even stronger than Heavenly Da Recovery. However, even after all this time, he hadn't managed to heal. That showed just how dangerous things must have been at that time. Wan'er, don't cry. Here, Long Chen drew Tang Wan'er into his embrace. As a result, due to the water and her thick garments, Long Chen ended up touching someplace very soft that he should not have touched. Tang Wan'er shook and she hastily pushed him away, cursing, you scoundrel, all you know how to do is bully us, it wouldn't be fair for me to bully just one, it seems I'll have to find some more people to bully tomorrow, Long Chen rubbed his chin thoughtfully, you dare, raged Tang Wan'er, Wan'er, your heartbeat is quickening because of your anger, and your face is so red, you must be ill, let me properly listen to your heartbeat, like a big fish, Long Chen swam toward Tang Wan'er, causing her to shout while Meng Chi and Chu Yao laughed. After a bath, Long Chen had a good sleep, and he felt refreshed after he woke up. The weariness of many days had been erased. After getting up and freshening up, Long Chen decided to go see Guo Ran. According to Meng Chi, there was some matter in Guo Ran's heart. Guo Ran was with Xia Chen. The two of them had their own special space for them to experiment with various odd things. Xia Chen was rather bashful and didn't talk too much, but he got along best with Guo Ran. The two of them never ran out of crazy ideas. Xia Chen was in charge of inscribing runes. After all, any formation master also had to be a master inscriber capable of placing runes on objects. Guo Ran was in charge of the forging. The two of them worked together perfectly and were continuously making many miraculous things to benefit the Dragonblood Legion. However, in the past two days, the two of them had stopped their forging and experimenting. They appeared listless. What's going on? Don't tell me that you've run out of money again. Long Chen walked in. Boss, you're back. Guo Ran and Xia Chen immediately shot to their feet. Guo Ran had a mischievous expression, while Xia Chen appeared a bit uneasy. Out of money, Long Chen could guess what was happening. Whether it was forging items or inscribing runes. They both consumed an endless amount of resources. Actually, that also included alchemy, but refining pills for others resulted in immense profits. When it came to making money, alchemy was the profession that made the most. Of course, that was aside from Long Chen's profession of being a bandit. An alchemist like Long Chen who had an extremely low chance of failure with his refinements was guaranteed to bring in piles of money. However, in order to raise the Dragonblood Legion, just refining pills wasn't enough. Long Chen could make money for himself, but Guo Ran and Xia Chen couldn't because their products were never sold but kept for their own side. Last time, the resources that Long Chen had robbed from the Xuan Beast's headquarters had mostly been used on building the ancestral land of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow race. They had also created several transportation formations. There wasn't much left over. That's the truth, boss. You also know that I'm weak. I live off my armor. As for Xia Chen, he lacks defensive power as well. We just figured out how to build two supreme sets of armor. But, Guo Ran's voice trailed off. 
They cost too much. One is a hard set, while one is a soft set. There's not even close to enough money for them both, said Xia Chen. Just how powerful are they? Asked Long Chen. This was the real important point. How powerful? Haha, <laughs> let me put it this way. Boss, if I had that armor, I would be able to challenge you on my own. Guo Ran laughed confidently, but then he sadly said, The main thing is that there isn't enough money. Are you serious? If it's really so powerful, I'll help you with it, said Long Chen. He was slightly surprised by such a high appraisal. Boss, can you really afford it? Asked Guo Ran. After all, the Dragon Blood Legion's armor and weapons had come at a great cost. Long Chen still owed Zheng Wenlong a huge amount of money. At that time, Zheng Wenlong had sacrificed a great deal to help Long Chen get so much money. He no longer had any means to get more. It was because of this that Guo Ran and Xia Chen were at their wit's end. No matter how great the idea or method, without money, they would just be empty thoughts. Hearing Long Chen's tone, it seemed that if they made it attractive enough to him, he would help them fulfill their heart's desire. As long as it's strong enough, there's no need for you to worry about the money, said Long Chen. Guo Ran and Xia Chen were both delighted. To give a demonstration, Guo Ran took out a set of soft armor and had Xia Chen wear it. This soft armor was made of countless threads of gold. It was very delicate and exquisite. Long Chen couldn't help smiling. Guo Ran, I didn't expect you to be so skilled in the feminine arts. He, I, Guo Ran, am a capable man. Other than having children, I can do everything. Perhaps he had seen hope for the armor he dreamed of. He summoned his own golden armor and suddenly swung his saber at Xia Chen's head. Guo Ran hadn't held back with this slash. If it weren't for Xia Chen's calm expression, Long Chen would have really thought that Guo Ran was trying to kill him. Just as Guo Ran's saber was about to cut through Xia Chen's head, golden light exploded out of Xia Chen's soft armor, enveloping him. This armor automatically protected its master and was so powerful that it managed to block Guo Ran's attack. Long Chen was amazed. This soft armor actually had the miraculous ability of automatically sensing danger to its master. Just at this moment, the soft armor that Xia Chen was wearing slowly dissipated, transforming into a pile of golden sand. After blocking Guo Ran's full strength attack, it had lost all its power. Amazing. Using ancestral item materials, you were able to block the attack of a divine item. Truly amazing. Praised Long Chen. The actual quality of the golden soft armor wasn't high. It wasn't made of divine materials. However, it still managed to block Guo Ran's full strength attack. It should be noted that Guo Ran's current armor was something that most ordinary Empyreans with partially awakened manifestations would not be able to stop. However, this seemingly unremarkable soft armor had managed to block his attack. Boss, you've now personally seen the effect. This prototype was made of low-class materials, or it would have an even greater effect, said Guo Ran. There should still be leftover materials from when you forged divine items for our brothers. Why not use those? Asked Long Chen. Those materials are no good. They're hard but lack flexibility. There's no way to turn them into the soft threads that we need. Other than that, I've discussed this matter with Xia Chen for many days, and I feel like the armor and weapons that we made have many flaws. They were all made for maximum offense and defense, and in our pursuit for hardness, we neglected the flexibility of the weapons. With pure hardness, it results in a backlash every time we clash against someone. With a bit of softness mixed into it, we won't lose any power, but there won't be such a backlash, said Guo Ran. Unfortunately, bringing this up now was clearly too late. The weapons and armor had already been forged. They couldn't be changed. It's only natural that people grow as they test things. You didn't have a master to lead the way so you could only rely on yourselves. Although you end up suffering more like this, your accumulated experience isn't a bad thing. This way, you don't end up following someone else's footsteps. After all, everyone else's path has an end, but your own path can go wherever you want. Just tell me what kind of material you want to buy, or if you've already found the material, I can buy it for you, said Long Chen. This kind of powerful armor couldn't be abandoned just because of a lack of money. Divine materials that have the flexible nature we want are very rare. 
I've already asked around, and that kind of material is priceless. Some sects have a small amount of it, but they refuse to sell it. As for forging these two sets of armor, we'll need quite a bit of it. Just one or two stockpiles of it won't be enough. That's why I've planned to purchase some divine ore and refine it ourselves. That should save us some money. But even then, the ore is very expensive. At the very least, it will require several billion spirit crystals. Chien Duoduo has said that we're currently hard-pressed for money though. Guo Ran couldn't help feeling powerless. At the start, the Dragonblood Legion's finances had been looked after by Tang Wan Er. Then it had been Ching Yu. And then that duty had been passed on to the talented Chiang Duoduo. However, currently the Dragonblood Legion's expenses were frighteningly great. Just the armor for the two of them. Even when using the cheapest option of buying the ores and refining it themselves would require billions of spirit crystals. That was enough to buy a huge sect. Actually, it's fine for me not to have one. It should be Guo Ran who gets one first. After all, he focuses on the battle, and that armor can raise morale, said Xia Chen. You're wrong. Last time, the Blood Kill Hall's assassins set their sights on you. If it weren't for Sister Chu Yao's protection, you would have been in danger, said Guo Ran. Xia Chen's formations were absolutely terrifying, and they possessed amazing killing power. When the battle started, he would always be their first target. There's no need for you to argue. Do two men need to be so sappy? I'm telling you, there will definitely be enough money, let alone two sets. Even twenty sets would be no problem, said Long Chen. His primal chaos space was currently filled with spirit crystals and he had actually been in the midst of wondering how to spend them. It seemed that there was no need for him to worry about how to spend it though. With Guo Ran and Xia Chen present, the money would always find a way to spend itself. Guo Ran and Xia Chen were delighted. Guo Ran asked, Boss, did you go robbing again? Long Chen rolled his eyes. He really detested when people randomly guessed things about him. Well, the main thing was that Guo Ran had guessed right. Ah, that's right. Can you use this thing? Long Chen took out a fist-sized rock. This rock emanated fluctuations of divine energy. It was one of the fragments from the divine pillars he had cut down. These fluctuations is this wind copper divine ore? But why does it possess such a terrifying divine energy? Guo Ran recognized the ore, but he was stunned by the energy within it. This ore was able to absorb the spiritual chi in the air, and most large sects had it. It was a useful item for spirit gathering formations. An egg-sized piece of wind copper would count as a very large piece perfect for the core of a spirit gathering formation. Smaller sects only had a chunk the size of a bean, while weaker sects might only have a sesame seed speck of wind copper. Wind copper was a very precious divine material. Many sects had it, but only in small quantities. Long Chen was holding a fist-sized chunk of this ore if refined. It should produce a one-inch wide sphere of wind copper. That was quite valuable. This is good, but it's not even close to enough to pay for everything, said Guo Ran. Who said that there was only this one piece? Are you saying that as long as there was enough of this, it would work? Asked Long Chen. It would. But how much do you have? As long as you have a hundred chunks this size, it should be enough to build Xia Chen's armor, said Guo Ran. The soft armor they had planned to make didn't actually require too many divine materials. The main problem was how taxing it was to inscribe runes onto each and every thread of it. On the other hand, Guo Ran's hard armor had to cover his entire body, with each piece requiring its own separate formation. Hence, it would cost a lot more. That was why at the very least, Guo Ran wanted to make the soft armor for Xia Chen. As long as they could make one set of this armor they imagined. It would bring Guo Ran immense pride, even if he didn't get to wear it. That was the pride of a craftsman. Well then, based on that, I have enough for you to build a set for every member of the Dragonblood Legion, said Long Chen. Finding an empty space, Long Chen tossed one of the divine pillars onto the ground. Guo Ran and Xia Chen's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. This giant pillar of wind copper divine ore was something they had never dreamed of possessing. It was several miles thick and tens of thousands of meters tall. There's a dragon vein inside the pillar, exclaimed Xia Chen suddenly as he examined it. He immediately found that this was no ordinary wind copper divine ore. Boss, 
Where did you get this? From Pill Valley's secret realm. So, is it usable? There's a dragon vein sealed inside with karmic luck. That's a priceless treasure. If turned into a formation, the power inside it would make the formation extremely terrifying, said Xia Chen. He was unwilling to turn such a treasure into some armor. Xia Chen, no, if you don't have that armor, it won't matter. No matter how terrifying the formation, it won't do anything if you're dead, said Guo Ran. Xia Chen's defenses were too weak. He had to hide in the dark, but if he was noticed, he would be the main target. I don't know anything about dragon veins or forging around them. The only thing I could suggest is, Novaloon.com suddenly, one giant pillar after another crashed onto the ground. Xia Chen and Guo Ran were dumbfounded. There are so many. There were a total of 108 of these. Being a nice person, I left two of them for Pill Valley, but I took the rest. I'll leave you 18 for now. The rest I'm keeping so that Evil Moon and Little Heaven can absorb their energy. You can experiment with refining the wind copper or extracting the dragon vein energy. It's up to you. All I ask is that you work on that armor, perfect it, and then you can make one set after another. I want the entire dragon blood legion to be properly fitted, said Long Chen. That, Guo Ran and Xia Chen exchanged a look. Guo Ran said, Boss, making this kind of armor takes up a lot of time. It also requires many expensive materials. Since we have the main ingredient here for the soft armor, I'd make a conservative estimate that every set of armor would take 3 to 500 million spirit crystals and also 1 to 2 months to make. We have over 12,000 people in the Dragon Blood Legion, and to make one for every person, even if we worked ourselves to death, it would take decades. Long Chen smiled. It doesn't need to be so exaggerated. The two of you can wear the perfect armor but the other brothers don't need such high requirements. Just make sure that what you make for them has the maximum offensive and defensive power. Too much assistance wouldn't actually be a good thing. It would make them dependent and influence their cultivation motivation. Also, don't be so rigid in your thinking. For example, some of the initial refining of the wind copper doesn't need to be done by the two of you personally. You can get some help either from the original devil race or from Jung Wenlong. Our time is more important than saving money, said Long Chen. Why? Did something happen outside? Is it because of that phenomenon? Asked Guo Ran and Xia Chen. They had been cut off from the outside world for months, and they had been so focused on the armor that they had lost track of time. Long Chen said, I'll tell everyone later. Other than the core techniques, make a list of what kind of aid you need. First. Refine the wind copper and start making the armor. After experimenting with it and perfecting it, start creating as many sets as possible. We don't have that much time. Later that day, they gathered the dragon blood legion. Even the warriors that were in seclusion were called out. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng were all present. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Cloud had also come. Only Lu Ruian was missing. She was in a critical cultivation moment and couldn't be disturbed. Brothers, there is something I have to tell you. The current martial heaven continent has changed. Long Chen explained what the Qi flow eruption meant, and how powerful ancient sects and families had appeared on the continent. Monsters that had been hibernating for countless years were starting to awaken. The dragon blood warriors were startled, not having expected so much to have happened while they were in seclusion. So even monsters from the ancient era had sealed themselves to come to their era. It seemed a new era of competition was about to come to the continent. Long Chen's gaze swept over everyone. Empyreans with fully awakened manifestations are now no longer rare. As for ordinary Empyreans, they are as common as dogs. And the geniuses from past eras have now appeared. In fact, they were once so famous that their names were recorded in historical texts. Maybe even some famous cultivation techniques or battle skills were actually made by them. Each and every one of them was the most dazzling figure of their generation. As for the era that we were born in, it is the worst era as we face the arrival of all these monsters. But it is also the best era because we now have company. Otherwise, if we were completely unrivaled, wouldn't it be lonely? I gathered you today to tell you that the times have changed. Don't get lost in your former glory. 
The time where we destroyed Heavenly Fate Island and crushed the other peak Heavenly Geniuses is in the past. Now, if you don't want to get trampled by others, you have to possess a higher level of power. Boss, we didn't slack off during this time. We've all been cultivating hard, said Gu Yang. Long Chen waved his hand, saying, I didn't say you were slacking off. Actually, you're all working very hard. Your cultivation bases are advancing with every passing day. However, you are now lacking a certain something, a feeling of crisis. Without that feeling, your cultivation becomes something passive. It just becomes something that you do because the others around you are doing it. You were too outstanding in the last battle and started to feel unrivaled. Perhaps if it weren't for my existence, it would have reached the point that you no longer even felt a desire to cultivate now that Long Chen said this. Many of the Dragonblood warriors felt ashamed. They truly had gotten lost in their glory from the last battle. After all, they had reached the peak. They were now able to challenge the major powers of the continent. Once they stepped into the Nether Passage realm, wouldn't this world belong to them? They had lost that sensation of crisis. Although they continued working hard, it was just a habit. They weren't actually actively working to get stronger. Boss, we were wrong. Gu Yang was the first to admit his mistake. Long Chen shook his head. You weren't wrong. If I was also at the peak, it would be normal for me to get lazy too. I'm not trying to criticize anyone. It's just a warning that once you are unrivaled, you'll need to find a new target to give yourself motivation. The Great Era is currently reaching its final stage. If you want to be unrivaled, you'll have to become a sovereign. All right. That's all I have to say about that. Let's go. Aren't there a bunch of hopping clowns at our door? Let's go exercise our muscles. There were two ancient mountains standing guard over the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's main gates. These mountains came from their ancestral lands. Rumor was that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had possessed a divine totem that they worshipped when they were first born. It was a symbol of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. In front of the gates were quite a few experts. However, None of them were speaking to each other. It seemed that they were all strangers. These people had already been here for several days. They were experts from the ancient sects and powers that had heard of the Dragonblood Legion's name. These disciples were not the peerless geniuses that had been sealed away, and they weren't qualified to challenge Long Chen. However, since they weren't peerless geniuses, that meant that they could challenge the Dragonblood warriors. They wanted to know just how strong this rumored number one Legion was. However, no matter what they shouted, there wasn't the slightest response from within. Through the formation, they could see how busy people were inside. They had shouted for several days and even seen some Dragonblood warriors. Most of the disciples who had come here simply sneered at the Dragonblood warriors for a bit before leaving. However, some decided to stay and wait for the Dragonblood warriors. Either way, they would not barge into the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race's territory. If they did, that wouldn't be a challenge but a provocation that would lead to battle. So, they simply continued to stand outside the gates, occasionally throwing out some mocking words. That didn't break any rules. HMPH. What Dragonblood Legion? They should call themselves the Turtle Legion. What a waste of time, sneered one expert. He finally lost patience and turned to leave. Just at this moment, the gates began to rumble. The grand formation shook as countless runes spread out, creating a giant gate that opened. A black-robed man slowly walked out, followed by a group of experts that gave off a sharp, sword-like aura. Long Chen, startled cries rang out. Even these people that had just returned to the Martial Heaven continent knew Long Chen's name. Although they had never seen him in person, they had looked at photographic jades of him. They immediately became serious. They were not the top experts of their time. Although they also came from powerful backgrounds, in the face of the hegemon of this time, they were still a bit nervous. Three Empyreans with awakened manifestations. Amazing. Are you the peak experts of your sects? Asked Long Chen. No. We are just disciples born around this time. We are not the geniuses who were sealed. Said a man who stood in the air a sword hanging on his waist. He was a powerful Empyrean whose manifestation had awakened. Although he had yet to summon his manifestation, just standing there, 
the heavenly Deo seemed to revolve around him. It seems that we came to the wrong place. Who would have thought that the number one legion of this current era wouldn't even have a single awakened Empyrean said another person. He was a large mustached man whose bare arms were exposed. He was most likely a power type fighter. This is the Martial Heaven Continent's number one legion? What a meaningless title. Long Chen. How about you come out? Let me see whether the number one expert of the current world deserves his fame, said a thin man. He was extremely tall, and combined with how thin he was, he gave off the impression of a bamboo tree. He was pale like he had never seen sunlight before, and when he spoke, his chillingly white teeth revealed themselves. They had clearly come for the dragon blood legion, but they hadn't expected that there wouldn't be a single awakened Empyrean amongst them. They were disappointed. Without any awakened Empyreans, the Dragon Blood Legion would only be suppressed. They clearly weren't on the same level. Long Chen looked at the slender man and shook his head. Even the corrupt path's people dare to come out so brazenly? Are you really not afraid of me cutting off your head? Long Chen instantly saw through that person's origins. There was no way to conceal the bloody aura emitted by him. He had to have killed countless experts. In truth. Both Long Chen and the Dragon Blood Warriors also had the blood of countless experts on their hands, but it was the vileness of the corrupt experts that caused endless resentment to gather around them. They even used that resentment to cultivate. It was an extremely evil kind of cultivation noveloon.com however, in the corrupt path's ideology, the weak could not be classified as humans. The only meaning behind their existence was to serve the strong. So the corrupt path's experts didn't even bother trying to hide their evil air. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Do you think this world is the same as before? Do you think you're still unrivaled? Let me tell you, the martial heaven continent has already fallen, and your era is the weakest era. Any genius that was worth sealing in the past has accomplishments far beyond the likes of you. If you wish to live, you had best learn how to walk with your tail between your legs. Understood sneered the corrupt expert. He didn't feel much fear for Long Chen. Based on your tone, were you also sealed in the past? You aren't from this generation, right? Asked Long Chen. Correct. I am one of Tian Zizi's 108 guards. All the guards were sealed together with Tian Zizi. In our time, we dominated the martial heaven continent. Your grandfather had yet to be born at that time. So in front of us, you're all just a bunch of children laughed the corrupt expert. The dragon blood warrior's expressions darkened. Dominated the martial heaven continent? What a joke. If you really had dominated the martial heaven continent, wouldn't the entire righteous path have been slaughtered? If you want to lie, put some thought into it. You wouldn't even be able to trick a child. Long Chen shook his head. Although there was a time when the righteous path had been suppressed, it definitely hadn't reached the point of being dominated. Otherwise, there would no longer be a righteous path. HMPH, you don't believe it because you don't know anything. In our time, Tian Zizi rose like a shooting star, slaughtering the members of the corrupt path. In the end, if it weren't for the righteous path allying with many different powers to fight us, the righteous path would have long since vanished from this world. TCH, how is that dominating? All you did was get halfway before retreating back to your tortoise shell. You clearly weren't able to fight the entire world, so you shrank away, and yet that's called unrivaled domination by you? Do you even have a sense of shame? At this moment, Guo Ran interjected himself into the conversation. HMPH, it doesn't matter. Isn't the Dragon Blood Legion supposed to be the number one Legion of the continent? Let us see your power. Where did all this talking come from? Sneered the corrupt expert. He was clearly fearless and openly provoking them. I'll handle you. Gu Yang couldn't endure it any longer and walked forward with his spear. That corrupt expert was about to speak when the large mustached man walked forward, getting between them. It seems you're a power type fighter. It just so happens that I'm the same. I've already awakened my manifestation, but I won't bully you. I won't summon my manifestation, so we should be able to have a fair match. As for the corrupt path, there's nothing interesting about fighting a group of demonic monsters like them. The corrupt expert's expression sank upon hearing this. Exactly. We came here to exchange pointers. We have no malice. 
Although I'm a bit disappointed, I have to admit that you're all true warriors, said the man with the sword hanging on his waist. The mustached man said, Come, let me see just how strong the Dragonblood Legion is. I hope you won't disappoint me too much. He also took out a spear. Strange runes flowed along it, giving it an ancient and heavy air. My name is Wu Yu. I'm a core disciple from the Nangong family hearing that he came from the Nangong family. The corrupt expert's expression twitched. The Dongfang, Zeman, Nangong, and Bidang families possessed immense power. The other experts' expressions also changed, especially because of this person's name. A core disciple from the Nangong family should have the surname Nangong, but he was actually surnamed Wu. The Nangong family was actually so powerful that it raised an outer disciple to such an extent. My name is Gu Yang, the first captain of Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion. To be able to encounter an expert like you is an honor. Let's not waste any more time. Gu Yang took a deep breath. With a cry, he suddenly stepped forward. Spear images filling the sky. Boom. As soon as Gu Yang attacked, Wu Yu also did. The two of them were both power type fighters, and their fighting style was direct. Their two spears clashed in a heaven shaking exchange. The two of them shook, and then their spears swung through the air once more as they clashed again. As a result, it was Gu Yang who was forced back. Shocked. This Wu Yu was actually stronger than him. Summon your manifestation. Because my manifestation has fully awakened, the heavenly Tao energy naturally comes to support me. I can't stop it. Summoning your manifestation is the only way to make it fair, said Wu Yu. An awakened Empyrean could summon heavenly Tao energy at will, even without their manifestation summoned. They could control more heavenly Tao energy than an Empyrean whose manifestation hadn't awakened. However, Wu Yu was above board and explained this right at the start of the battle. Not like that fellow Long Chen had encountered in the eastern Xuan city who was conning others. Wu Yu's kind of conduct was the style worthy of a powerful and ancient family. Even the Dragonblood warriors felt some admiration for him. Then I'll embarrass myself. Gu Yang nodded and summoned his manifestation. A rune lit up on his forehead, and an explosive power erupted within him. Space rumbled as Gu Yang suddenly shot forward, his power raised to a certain peak. Good. Wu Yu's eyes lit up as his battle intent ignited. He didn't like flashy exchanges. He would rather have a clash of brute power. Wu Yu's spear danced. Golden light flowed out of it, transforming into a blossoming lotus flower. The ground rumbled as their spear images clashed. Surging chi waves erupted. Boss Gu Yang has gotten even stronger, exclaimed the Dragonblood warriors. That Wu Yu is also extremely powerful, even without his manifestation. Boss Gu Yang doesn't have any advantage over him. He probably hasn't even used 80% of his real power. Really, the few of you only look on the surface. I feel like this Wu Yu is a very good match for Gu Yang, said Guo Ran. A match? Are you using the wrong word? Asked Tang Wan Er. Guo Ran shook his head. No, that's the right word. Look, that Wu Yu has quite the manly face. If we cut off his facial hair, he'd be very handsome. Then we put his facial hair onto Gu Yang's head, and he'd be very handsome too. So don't you think that they're a good match? The surrounding people almost coughed up blood. Guo Ran's brain definitely worked differently than others. The two of them were in the middle of fighting, and he was imagining how they could make up for each other's weak spots. Space continued to rumble as the fight between Gu Yang and Wu Yu intensified. Neither side was able to suppress the other. Boom. Finally. The two of them retreated at the same time. Gu Yang coughed up a mouthful of blood, causing everyone to jump. I've lost, sighed Gu Yang. Actually, it's my loss. Without realizing it, I was naturally absorbing energy from the air to assist me. It was an instinct that I couldn't control. But if we were in the same condition, I probably wouldn't be a match for you. Well, saying that doesn't mean anything. Once your manifestation has awakened, Let's have a real fight. Wu Yu put away his spear. He and Gu Yang actually ended up being friends through this battle. Sometimes fighting was able to make you understand someone in an instant. Alright, then once I awaken my manifestation, I'll definitely come to have a good fight with brother Wu. Gu Yang nodded. Awaken your manifestation? You make it sound easy, 
sneered the corrupt expert. Wu Yu's expression sank, and he pointed his spear at him. A group of fiends, the heavens haven't put you in your place. So are you asking me to personally send you to hell? Send me to hell? It seems that you don't have that ability. Others might be afraid of your everlasting family, but the corrupt path isn't, sneered that expert. Although he had been a bit shocked at Wu Yu's identity at the start, he had only found it to be surprising. He wasn't particularly afraid. After all, any expert worthy of being sealed in the ancient era was a vicious character unwilling to be suppressed. Killing intent appeared on Wu Yu's face. He despised these fiends that never should have existed in this world. He was about to summon his manifestation when a figure walked out of the Dragon Blood Legion. Leave this one to me. It was Yu Zifeng. Cheers rang out from the Dragon Blood Warriors. Yu Zifeng's power gave him an extremely high position in their hearts. Seeing Yu Zifeng have a sword on his back, the man with the sword hanging on his waist said, We're both sword cultivators. How about we exchange pointers? You aren't a sword cultivator, said Yu Zifeng bluntly. That man's expression changed. These words were a bit hurtful. It was an insult to say that he wasn't a sword cultivator. Are you ready? I'm going to attack. Yu Zifeng ignored him though and looked at the corrupt expert. His right hand slowly reached for his sword. A sword cultivator? I've already killed three. It seems that you'll be the fourth. The corrupt expert smiled and suddenly took out a soul banner. Buzzing rang out, and blood mist filled the air, turning the world red. Countless whales stabbed into people's ears and even their souls. The surrounding space seemed to have become a sea of blood. Within that sea of blood were the wails of countless souls in pain. Even the people outside the sea felt a needle-like pain in their heads. As for Yu Zifeng who was within that sea of blood, just how terrifying was the impact on him? No one could tell. Bastard. This is a soul-devouring blood sea. Just how many innocent people have you killed? Shouted Wu Yu. Haha. <laughs> so someone actually recognizes my corrupt path's famous soul-devouring blood sea. Not bad. Not bad. I'll tell you then. I exterminated over 300 sects to gather enough resentment to condense it. Then after another 10 years of fighting, I don't even know how much resentment I have gathered. But I can say that anyone who entered my blood sea has never been able to walk out. They will only become another resentful spirit strengthening it. The corrupt expert laughed, and his manifestation suddenly appeared behind him. Countless sinister heads appeared within his blood sea. Swimming toward Yu Zifeng. These heads were condensed from the resentful spirits that had been slain by it. They were tortured to death in order to bring out as much resentment as possible. If there was the slightest weakness within your will, they would invade your soul. Even without any opening, their sharp cries would disturb the soul of anyone inside. This kind of evil art had already been lost in the recent clashes between the righteous and corrupt paths. That was because there was no way for them to gather enough resentment to condense this soul-devouring blood sea. So in recent generations, such a thing had never appeared. But as someone from an everlasting family, Wu Yu knew about it. It's just a deviant ability. I'll break it with one swing of my sword. Yu Zifeng's expression was still calm even in the middle of the soul-devouring blood sea. The screeching cries and soul invasion of the resentful spirits were unable to shake his Dao heart. Suddenly, his sword came out of his sheath, and it was like a dragon cry combined with a flash of lightning. Sword Chi slashed out. Haha, <laughs> it's useless. My soul devouring blood sea is condensed of spiritual strength. It's formless what just as the corrupt expert was laughing, his blood sea was cut in two by Yu Zifeng's sword. Those resentful spirits disintegrated in front of it. The will contained within his sword surpassed the heavenly deos. It was a peerless sword. Above the heavens, above the earth, above gods, and above devils. With one slash, heaven and earth shook, while gods and ghosts fled. The sword chi continued through the blood sea to the corrupt expert. Without any hesitation, the corrupt expert raised his soul banner in front of him. Shockingly, this terrifying divine item was also sliced in two by Yu Zifeng's sword. It then cut off a piece of the corrupt expert's head. This one slash stunned everyone who saw it. The corrupt expert's soul almost fled in terror. He suddenly threw the destroyed soul banner at Yu Zifeng. Explodey was actually detonating his own divine item. However, another sharp sword light flashed, 
destroying his soul banner and not letting it explode. The corrupt expert was finally afraid. Even when he had swept through the world with Tian Zizi, he had never encountered such a terrifying sword cultivator. He suddenly bit off a finger, drawing a rune in the air with it. Heavenly evil blood evasion this was an evasive art, one of his trump cards for preserving his life. However, just as he was about to jump within the rune, Yu Zifeng's sword tip pointed toward him. Yu Zifeng was unstoppable with his sword. Even the Empyrean with a sword hanging on his waist was shocked. With one swing of his sword, Yu Zifeng cut through the soul-devouring blood sea, and then he destroyed the soul banner divine item. Nothing could stop his sword. This sword intent. Even though that sword-wielding Empyrean was also a sword cultivator, the power within Yu Zifeng's sword made him feel minuscule. As for that corrupt expert, he actually fled in the face of that sword. All his arrogance of an awakened Empyrean vanished. Violet lightning pierces the clouds. Yu Zifeng's left forefinger and middle finger pressed against the back of his sword, and then he suddenly pushed it forward. A bolt of violet sword light shot out of the tip. It was just like a flash of lightning piercing through the air. That corrupt expert had fled into his blood rune, and his figure appeared tens of thousands of miles away. However, no matter how fast he was, Yu Zifeng's sword light was faster. It seemed to break the laws of spastime and instantly arrived in front of the corrupt expert. The blood rune surrounding the corrupt expert instantly exploded. It was like a beautiful firework. When the light faded, People saw a hole through that corrupt expert's chest. The corrupt expert was shocked. He let out a shout, and a blood-colored furnace appeared above his head. Light descended from it, enveloping him. Before people even understood what was going on, Yu Zifeng appeared above his head as well. That was especially shocking. How could there be two Yu Zifengs? But when they looked back to where Yu Zifeng had originally been, they found that he had vanished Novaloon.com one with the sword. The sword-wielding Empyrean stared in shock. As a sword cultivator, he knew just what level this signified. Just how had Yu Zifeng reached such a realm? With that attack just now, Yu Zifeng had merged with his sword. What had been left behind was just an afterimage. To merge fully with his sword meant that he had entrusted his life to his sword. If his sword was destroyed, he would die. This kind of realm was a wild gamble. Even though the sword-wielding Empyrean was also a sword cultivator, unless his cultivation base had reached Nether Passage and he had obtained a shocking divine sword, he wouldn't dare to do such a thing. One mistake would signify death. However, Yu Zifeng had done it. He was just a life star disciple who wasn't even an Empyrean. That was crazy. Looking back at the corrupt expert, the furnace above him had been sliced in half by Yu Zifeng. That sword of his crushed all laws and deos before it. The corrupt expert coughed up blood and let out a furious roar. Having lost two divine items, he almost went insane. Two sinister wings suddenly appeared within his manifestation. With those wings behind him, he looked like a giant bat. Countless demonic images appeared on top of his wings, and cries of thousands of ghosts shook people's souls. However, before he could unleash an attack with these wings, they were cut off by a swing of Yu Zifeng's sword. Impossible. My blood wings are one with the heavenly deos. What power can sever the heavenly deos? The corrupt expert couldn't believe his eyes. In his life, he normally had three things that he depended on. One was the soul banner. The other was the blood-colored furnace. And the last one was his devil wings. The first two were corrupt weapons he had personally forged. While the last was a divine ability of his manifestation. He had relied on these three things to kill an unknown number of geniuses in the past. However, in front of Yu Zifeng, whether it was his corrupt weapons or his manifestation's divine ability, nothing he did could last more than one move. The most shocking thing to him was how his manifestation was actually cut through. It was condensed from heavenly Tao energy. He had never imagined someone could sever it. The heavenly Deos are just a term for the Deos of the world. Do you really think your manifestation contains the power of all the deos in this world? Asked Yu Zifeng coldly, his sword once more slashing down on him mercilessly. It looked like a simple slash, but it severed the laws of spastime. It silently fell without his opponent being able to move. The corrupt expert let out an unwilling roar, and four pairs of wings appeared within his manifestation, folding around him. However, 
Yu Zifeng simple slash went through his wings without pausing in the slightest. The huge wings were cleanly sliced apart and then exploded into runes. The corrupt expert appeared in the sky, pale as paper. Suddenly, a line of blood ran down the top of his head and continued straight down. He then fell to the ground, split in two. The corrupt expert was dead, with not even his Yuan spirit escaping. In front of Yu Zifeng, he seemed incredibly weak. From start to finish, he hadn't managed to block a single attack from Yu Zifeng. A powerful, ancient, awakened Empyrean was killed just like this. His divine items were destroyed and even his manifestation was severed. Everyone was silent for a moment. Even the Dragonblood warriors were stunned. Yu Zifeng normally didn't reveal his power, and they hadn't realized how powerful he was. Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan felt ashamed of themselves. Without them even knowing about it, Yu Zifeng had left them in the dust. Suddenly, Yu Zifeng began to stagger in the air. He almost fell out of the sky. Gu Yang hastily flew over to support him. Are you all right? Asked Gu Yang. It seemed that killing that corrupt expert had not been as easy as Yu Zifeng made it seem. My Yuan spirit is slightly injured. Most likely, there's still some deficit in my understanding of one with the sword. I'll go rest. Yu Zifeng was pale, and he was starting to sweat. He seemed to be in pain. Here's a soul-nourishing pill to relieve the pain. You were too hasty. Your one with the sword merger is truly powerful, but it's a double-edged sword. If you don't control it well, you'll injure yourself. Don't push yourself too hard, said Long Chen, patting Yu Zifeng on the shoulder. Long Chen sighed emotionally inside. Within the entire Dragonblood Legion, the most hardworking person was Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng didn't say much. He spent most of his time cultivating. Every time he made a breakthrough, he would set a new target for himself. The person he was most ruthless toward was himself. Even Long Chen felt inferior to him in that regard. Two Dragonblood warriors supported Yu Zifeng as they returned to their resting place. Although he was injured, no one looked down on him. The sharpness of his attacks just now had been too terrifying. Even awakened Empyreans didn't have the slightest ability to resist or even run. He really is a true expert. I admit, I can't count as a sword cultivator in front of him. The sword-wielding Empyrean sighed and turned to leave. Although he also cultivated the sword Dao, he found that his understanding of the sword Dao was a far cry from Yu Zifeng. He was still following the regular path of the sword Dao, while Yu Zifeng had already blazed a new one. Throughout history, those who could become one with their sword had always been the most frightening of all sword cultivators. However, it was also the most dangerous move within the sword Dao. One mistake spelled death. All sword cultivators warned their disciples not to attempt becoming one with their sword before the Nether Passage realm, as that was suicide. However, Yu Zifeng had not just managed to reach that realm, but he could also use it in battle. Obviously, the path that he had blazed for himself was not a wrong one, or he'd have died from this move. Although his merger was not yet perfect, he had taken the most difficult step. In the future, he would definitely be able to perfect this move. Most admirable of all, Yu Zifeng had relied on his own comprehension to do it. He walked his own path. By now, that sword cultivator Empyrean no longer felt any anger over Yu Zifeng's previous remark. He only felt respect and admiration. Once that sword cultivator Empyrean left, Wu Yu said, I should also be going. Although the Dragonblood Legion isn't as powerful as I imagined. I see quite a few outstanding figures. Your fame isn't for nothing. You are Long Chen, correct? You should be careful. There are many powerful figures vying for supremacy right now. You might be their first target because defeating you, the previous peak of this world, would be the most effective way for them to show off their power. Many thanks for your words of wisdom. I'll simply say this. If people don't offend me, I won't offend them. But the Dragonblood Legion isn't afraid of trouble if it comes calling for us. If someone wants to climb higher by stepping on us, then I'm sorry. I'm not such a kind-hearted man. Long Chen cupped his fists as thanks for Wu Yu's warning. Based on his character, perhaps the Nangong family wasn't that bad. Well, I'll take my leave then. If you have time, you can come to my Nangong family as guests. We also have an amazing genius. Perhaps you can become friends. 
After saying that, Wu Yu waved his hand, leaving. Following Wu Yu's departure, the other experts that had come also left. Some of these experts were just present to gather information for the various large sects. Only a portion had come to challenge the Dragonblood Legion, but with three awakened Empyreans present, there was no longer a place for them to fight. Most of the challengers had left since the Dragonblood Legion hadn't come out. The ones who had stayed assumed that the Dragonblood Legion would sooner or later come out, and today they managed to witness their power. Gu Yang and Wu Yu's battle had been enough for them to have a whole new level of respect for the Dragonblood Legion. After all, someone who could fight evenly against an awakened Empyrean without also being one was amazing. It meant that Gu Yang's potential was extremely great. However, when Yu Zifeng had fought, they had been scared stiff. He had killed an awakened Empyrean in just a few moves. That was a figure who had been sealed in the ancient era. Someone who might be even stronger than Wu Yu. They had gained some useful information and could report back that their mission had been completed. They had no further reason to stay here. With everyone outside leaving, the Dragonblood Legion returned to their abodes. They were ashamed of themselves for having been lost in the glory of their previous victory in Heavenly Fate Island. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on giving a blow to the Dragonblood Warriors with Gu Yang's defeat. But Gu Yang's toughness had exceeded his expectations. If Gu Yang could awaken his manifestation, he would definitely be a powerful warrior. Long Chen had once asked Gu Yang about his family, and Gu Yang had said that his family had gone through some kind of tribulation in the past, resulting in their inheritance being lost. As for how powerful they had once been, no one knew. However, in any case, Long Chen could sense that Gu Yang's bloodline energy was currently reviving. The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish were stimulating his potential. On the other hand, Yu Zifeng's power had been within Long Chen's expectations. In the previous battle, Yu Zifeng had wanted to use this move, but Long Chen had stopped him by sending others to support him. Once Yu Zifeng started going all out without regard for his own life, he was absolutely terrifying to the point that even Long Chen got chills. Sword cultivators were famed for being the strongest offensively. There was no need to doubt this fact. Sword cultivators focused entirely on offense, thinking that as long as their attacks were strong enough, there was no need to defend. If their offense wasn't strong enough and they switched to defense, then that would just be a dying struggle that might win them a few more seconds of life before death. So true sword cultivators did not exchange pointers. Every battle was a battle to the death. As for that sword cultivator Empyrean that had come, after saying that he wanted to exchange pointers, Yu Zifeng had directly said that he wasn't a sword cultivator. That wasn't an insult, but it was telling him that true sword cultivators did not need to fight others to prove to themselves that they were powerful. A sword cultivator only had one opponent, and it was themselves. Other than themselves, no one else was qualified to be their opponent. They needed to have this kind of belief to never slack off and break through one shackle after another until they reached the peak of the sword Dao. Perhaps others didn't understand Yu Zifeng, but Long Chen understood him very well. He understood his pride. What Yu Zifeng was pursuing was something that others might not be able to imagine. What he wanted was to constantly challenge himself, to use his sword to corroborate his Dao to open a brand new sword Dao for himself. Boss, what should we do now? Upon returning, Gu Yang turned to Long Chen. He felt a profound feeling of helplessness in front of awakened Empyreans. Wu Yu had fought openly and hadn't cheated him, but that wouldn't always be the case in the future. If Gu Yang fought against an awakened Empyrean, there was no way that he could beat them. A sensation of crisis welled up within him. That corrupt expert had said that he had been one of the 108 experts that followed Tian Zizi. In other words, excluding whoever Tian Zizi was, there were 107 other experts on that level. Just how could the Dragonblood Legion survive in the face of over a hundred such experts? All the Dragonblood warriors felt cold. There's nothing special. Just do what you should do. I called you out today so that you could see the change in the outside world. You don't need to feel ashamed. It's true that they are very powerful, but we are not weak either. The only thing we lack compared to them is a powerful foundation. But when have we ever relied on such a thing before? 
we just constantly risk our lives to get stronger, and that got us our current achievements. All you need to do is maintain that attitude of constantly climbing higher, properly cultivate. Don't think that the loneliness of being unrivaled is so great, said Long Chen, the Dragonblood Warriors sighed, swearing to find that sense of urgency they had once possessed. However, Long Chen didn't have them immediately go to cultivate. Instead, they first gathered for a good drink. Long Chen told them about what had happened outside, including how he had barged into Pill Valley all alone. They couldn't help clapping when they heard that. Then when he mentioned the gathering of past and present heroes, Guo Ran, whose tongue had already grown loose from the alcohol, said, Boss, that gathering will definitely have the top geniuses of past eras. They'll either be a world-shaking hero or a nation-toppling beauty. It doesn't matter when it comes to the world-shaking heroes, but make sure to bring back a few nation-toppling beauties. He, Long Chen looked at Guo Ran and shook his head. I see a dark omen on your face. Be careful of a calamity of the flesh. Aya Guo Ran suddenly let out a miserable cry as he was kicked away by Tang Wan'er. Guo Ran, you bastard, don't egg Long Chen on, shouted Tang Wan'er. It could only be said that Guo Ran deserved it for speaking without thinking. If Long Chen hadn't responded properly, perhaps he also would have been implicated. As expected, as soon as Tang Wan'er was done berating Guo Ran, she turned to Long Chen who immediately said righteously, don't listen to his nonsense, I'm a righteous person, righteous, only a ghost would believe you, I'll say it directly, don't go bothering a bunch of pretty girls, but if they're an upright and noble person, don't abandon them for nothing, although women might be jealous, we aren't unreasonable, to sum it up, don't be unfaithful, you have to be steady with your womanizing, understood, said Tang Wan'er solemnly, just what had possessed this girl? How could she actually say such a thing? Long Chen didn't believe it. He looked suspiciously at Meng Qi and Chu Yao, only to see them silently smiling. What are you looking at? These are my pure thoughts. Although, although it's a bit hard to accept, I support you, said Tang Wan'er, blushing. Long Chen smiled. He knew that such words were definitely against Tang Wan'er's heart but she didn't want to harm Long Chen with her jealousy. The current state of the Martial Heaven continent was tense and complicated. There were powerful undercurrents in it. To protect yourself, you needed powerful connections. Long Chen had a special charisma to him that could be a powerful weapon against women. Although Tang Wan'er didn't want Long Chen to end up with any more women, especially not foreign women, he needed to make connections if he wanted to stabilize himself in this new world. If he could find a good girl with a powerful background, perhaps that might give them a solid backer. So, despite being unwilling inside, she subtly encouraged Long Chen for everyone. Long Chen got up and held Tang Wan'er's hand, softly saying, Thank you. Don't worry, I won't be unfaithful and start sowing wild oats. I'm very happy with you by my side. Only when I'm together with you in my home. Tang Wan'er hugged Long Chen. She couldn't change who she was. Long Chen. I. You don't need to say anything. I understand. You don't need to change anything about yourself. If you changed, then you wouldn't be Tang Wan'er. In my heart, you are irreplaceable only then did Tang Wan'er silently cry with a smile. A burst of warmth appearing in her heart. She was particularly afraid of Long Chen one day finding that he no longer liked her. She felt that she was lacking the most amongst Long Chen's women. After their drinking celebration, Long Chen went to find Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng was still in the process of healing his Yuan spirit. Upon seeing Long Chen, Yu Zifeng said, Boss, I want to go to the Heavenly Sword Gate and find my master. I have a few things puzzling me that are clouding my Dao heart. I need to discuss things with him. That's a good idea. The Heavenly Sword Gate is a holy land for sword cultivators. Go. It should be of great aid to your comprehension said Long Chen, but I'm just worried don't worry about it, all the large powers on the continent are currently afraid of each other, there won't be any sudden battles, since the Dragonblood Legion doesn't have to worry about fighting for now, you can go without worrying about us, the next day, Yu Zifeng set off on his own, as for Long Chen, he spent a few peaceful days with Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er, after a few days of rest, it was time for him to set off as well. 
The gathering of past and present heroes was about to start. He needed to finish up some preparations first. This gathering might end up being the gathering of the most monsters in all of history. Gu Yang and Wu Yu's battle had been an alarm for the Dragonblood warriors. Although Gu Yang hadn't used the Dragonblood battle armor, Wu Yu also hadn't used his trump cards. The two of them had fought in the purest clash of power, with Gu Yang actually being inferior. As for Wu Yu, he was just one of the Nangong family's many core disciples. It could be imagined just how terrifying the foundation of an everlasting family was. They no longer dared to slack off in the slightest. Their will to fight had been ignited once more. Sometimes, people needed a powerful figure as a reference in order to draw out more of their own potential. However, Long Chen didn't make them forcibly break through any bottlenecks they had. They were to calmly stay within the home of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. They could eat, drink, and play. They could do anything but cultivate. When Long Chen had said this, the Dragonblood warriors had thought that he was being sarcastic. However, he had then explained that he wanted them to fully relax. They were to temporarily forget that they were even cultivators. Sometimes, people needed a certain rhythm in cultivation. That referred to pace as well as tension and relaxation. The harder they worked at cultivation, the more fatigued they would grow, perhaps without even sensing it. An unsteady Dao heart was not suitable for cultivation, so the first step was to give them a good vacation. If they wished to, they could come up with a new identity for themselves and go play in the outside world. Long Chen gave them one month to do whatever they wanted. During this month, they were to forget about cultivation and do whatever they wanted to. Although this was neglecting their cultivation basis, their foundations were already extremely strong. This was just another way for them to temper their Dao hearts. Even if 10,000 people cultivated the same technique, their future paths would not be the same. Each person had to comprehend their own life slowly through experience. Long Chen's only requirement was that they focused on being safe. They could go to their homes and see their families. They could pay visits to old friends. And they could simply stare up at the clouds. It was up to them. There were powerful undercurrents flowing on the Martial Heaven continent. But at least on the surface, things were still calm. None of the large powers were willing to make any big movements. This was a rare moment of peace. There shouldn't be any significant battles during this time. The only thing they had to be on guard against was the corrupt path. This might be a bit dangerous, but cultivation was inherently dangerous. He couldn't constantly restrict them. They were his brothers, not his subordinates, and they had the right to pursue their own freedom. After arranging things for the Dragonblood Legion, Long Chen left on his own, heading toward the gathering of past and present heroes. Unexpectedly, the location of this gathering was actually the Western Desert. That was a bit far, but Long Chen didn't rush. He had plenty of time, so he just peacefully sat in his flying boat. Long Chen looked down at the mountains and plains that he rapidly flew by. The occasional startled roar of a fierce beast would come at him when he passed their territories. However, those beasts all felt a sense of danger from the flying boat, so they didn't attack. Long Chen ignored those beasts, seeing the land swiftly pass beneath them. Various emotions welled up within him. Back when he had first set off for the cultivation world, he had been a weak youth with grand ambitions. He and Little Snow had made a journey of 10,000 miles to take their first step on the path of cultivation. This would be the tenth year since that first step. He had fought countless battles, and rivers of blood had dyed the ground, but he still hadn't reached the peak, nor had he unraveled the mysteries behind his origins. Instead, he was sucked into the quagmire of the cultivation world unable to extricate himself. Sometimes, he wondered what kind of life he would have had if he hadn't been given the jade pendant. What would have happened if Long Shiang Xiao had hidden the truth about him? Would he already be married and have children? Would he be growing old in the Phoenix Cry Empire, living peacefully until he died? Regretfully, there was no way to know. People always said that upon stepping into the cultivation world, there was no way back. Now that he thought about it, it was true. The trees longed for peace, but the wind never left them alone. He only had more and more enemies, and enmity would pile up. Sometimes, just a look could invite a killer. 
The cultivation world was a barren naked world where the strong devoured the weak. During these ten years of battle, he had grown tired of this senseless and unending fighting. However, he couldn't stop. If he stopped, he would be killed. Exercising forbearance? That would bring more humiliation, more slaughter, and more enmity. In the cultivation world, no matter what you did, you would make enemies, unless you stood at the peak of this world. At that time, whatever you said would be right. Even if you farted, countless people would respectfully come to admire the scent and praise it. At the beginning, Long Chen had thought the cultivation world to be mysterious and holy, but upon stepping into it, he found that it was a bloody and cruel fighting ring. It was filled with slaughter and an unending desire to dominate others. Some people had already been devoured by those desires. The stronger they grew, the more desire they felt, until they wished to be the ruler of this world. Long Chen looked down on such people the most. Whenever he encountered them, his first instinct was to slap them. As for this gathering of past and present heroes, he really didn't want to go. If he didn't go, he might make some enemies. But if he went, he would get even more enemies. Worst of all, he didn't have any trump cards right now. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were in seclusion, absorbing the energy of the Divine Pillars. Huo Long was also in seclusion as Long Chen had told it to refine the Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame as quickly as possible. Only once it could fully control its power could he possibly manage to fight the Pill Fairy. Most importantly, if he wanted to refine 11th tier medicinal pills, he would need a powerful flame. He did have the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, but when he had obtained it with the Pill Fairy, they had agreed to split it in half. The half that Long Chen had obtained was only suitable for fighting. When refining pills, Huo Long normally had to use the power of the Heaven Incinerating Flame Noveloon.com for pills below the 11th tier. The Heaven Incinerating Flame was strong enough, but for 11th tier pills, it wasn't hot enough. It would not fully unleash the medicinal energy of the ingredients, which would affect the final quality of the pills. Long Chen now had the formulas for 11th tier pills, as well as many 11th tier medicinal ingredients that he had obtained in the Yun Yang world. It was possible for him to start refining 11th tier pills, but he hadn't. One reason was because Huo Long hadn't refined the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame, so there was no way to refine high grade 11th tier pills. Another reason was even more important. He didn't have a good enough pill furnace. He didn't have a pill furnace on the level of a divine item. Even Zheng Wenlong couldn't buy such a thing. Perhaps a pill furnace on ancestral items level was purchasable. But above that level, they were essentially in the hands of Pill Valley. Pill furnaces were no ordinary divine items. It required special craftsmanship to create one. And the craftsman would have to be an alchemist or there would be no way to create a pill furnace that met the standards. Guo Ran could already create divine items, but he couldn't forge a pill furnace. As for Pill Valley, there was no way that they would give him one. So if Long Chen wanted to get a pill furnace, he would have to think of something himself. He was in the middle of flying when his boat suddenly shook. Looking ahead, he saw a giant bird flying over, covering the sun. It was causing the surrounding space to twist. It was a terrifying 12th rank magical beast. It was enveloped in golden light that made it look like a sun. As it flew through the air, wind buffeted Long Chen's flying boat. It was going extremely fast, but Long Chen's vision was sharp enough to recognize it. It was a golden crow with three feet. The light surrounding it was like a flame. A three-foot golden crow. Long Chen's heart shook. It was an ancient beast. Based on its aura, it had fully matured. On its back, Long Chen saw an elegant figure sitting cross-legged. Her exposed arms were like white jade. Her long hair covered her face, but just her figure was enough to make a man indulge in fantasies. There was a golden bow on her back, but before Long Chen could get a closer look, she had sped off. It seems she's one of those supreme geniuses from the ancient era. Just that steed of hers is enough to sweep through others. I wonder where she's from? I knew I should have listened to Yi Lingxian explain some more about these experts, sighed Long Chen. In the Martial Heaven Alliance, Yi Lingxian had wanted to give him some well-known knowledge of the famous experts, but he hadn't been interested as he had been in a rush to return to the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. 
He couldn't help thinking it would be good if Yi Lingxin was present. Perhaps she would have been able to recognize that person's identity based. Brother, have you ever driven a flying boat like mine? Suddenly, a shout rang out. Long Chen turned to see a man operating a strange flying boat. He looked down on Long Chen and shouted at him. Was there really such a need to show off an amazing flying boat? Long Chen ignored him and sped off. However, after just a bit, that person had caught up to him, shouting, I was asking you a question. Do you recognize this flying boat? Long Chen started to get angry. If someone had a great flying boat, fine. Did they have to show it off? Based on that person's powerful aura, he was definitely an expert. Long Chen frowned, not wanting to cause any trouble. He quickened his pace. Now, that person seemed angry. His flying boat accelerated, and he instantly passed Long Chen. Fuck. Even such a person deserves to be called a supreme expert of the ancient era? That's only because you never encountered me. If you had, I'd have slapped you dead. Cursed Long Chen. Did those ancient experts not know how to be Loki? Boom. Suddenly, a mountain exploded in front of him, causing Long Chen to jump and stop his flying boat. A man came walking out of the dust, appearing wretched. Upon seeing Long Chen, he shouted, Brother, have you ever operated a flying boat like this? Do you know how to use the brakes? Long Chen was dumbfounded, not having expected this person to say such a thing. He was about to reply when that person looked into the distance and suddenly fled, instantly vanishing. Bastard, what rat dares to steal my mechanism sect's flying boat? Suddenly, a streak of light came flying over. It was a giant metal bird and incredibly quick. Seven experts jumped off its back, with three of them being awakened Empyreans. The seven of them immediately surrounded Long Chen, their expressions dark. Reveal your true face, shouted one of them. That was because Long Chen had covered his face with Yuan spirit energy. Even an awakened Empyrean couldn't see his true face. There's no need for that. The person who stole your flying boat already ran in that direction. Long Chen pointed in the direction where that person had fled. That person hadn't even warned Long Chen before running. Hence, Long Chen didn't feel like he was a good person and didn't plan on protecting him. Did I ask that? I told you to reveal your true face shouted the first speaker impatiently. At the same time, strange cylindrical objects appeared in the hands of the others. Those cylinders were pointed at Long Chen, and he immediately got goosebumps. They most likely contained some terrifying mechanisms. His expression darkened, and he coldly said, I told you that I wasn't the one that stole your flying boat. It would be best if you don't go too far. My temper's not very good. Are you deaf? I ordered you to reveal your true face precisely because I suspect you're that fellow's companion. If you don't want to die, you'll listen when I speak. Based on your robes, you're just some weakling from the current generation of the Martial Heaven continent. You're even hiding your heavenly Tao fluctuations. I'll give you to the count of three, shouted that person. Is your mechanism sect so unreasonable a cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face? Ha! Huh. In front of the mechanism sect, you're just an ant. Why would we need to talk reason with you? My patience is limited. 1. It's good that you're not reasonable. I'm also not good at talking reason with others, said Long Chen indifferently. 2. The runes on the cylinders pointed at Long Chen lit up. If you attack, you'll regret it, sneered Long Chen. Die. One of the seven of them suddenly attacked. Golden light shooting at Long Chen's chest. That golden light was shockingly fast, arriving in front of Long Chen as soon as it appeared. A destructive energy filled that golden light, and even divine armor would be destroyed in front of it. As for just a regular spiritual Yuan defense, that didn't pose the slightest hindrance to it. However, just as the golden light passed through Long Chen's body, he began to dissipate. It was actually just an illusion. Watch out, Long Chen had appeared in front of that person. Before the latter could unleash a second attack, a large hand slapped him across the face. His head exploded like a melon. Even his Yuan spirit was killed. Bastard, you dare kill the people of the mechanism sect. Their leader roared, and suddenly multiple rays of light shot out of their cylinders. There were light rays, flames, nets, and flying spears. They all came flying at Long Chen. Bang. 
All those attacks were destroyed by a giant stone pillar. Long Chen didn't have a suitable martial weapon right now, so he actually took out one of the divine pillars he had brought out of the Brahma secret realm. The giant pillar was so huge that just by appearing, it blocked all the attacks. It was shockingly hard and contained divine energy, so it could be considered a giant divine item. With Long Chen's immense power, it not only smashed their attacks but also swung toward the six of them. The six of them were immediately covered in strange armor. Their cylinders vanished, replaced by spears. However, that divine pillar was too heavy, and adding on Long Chen's power, they were sent flying. They were shocked and infuriated, not having expected to run into such a tough opponent. Spread out. That pillar's too huge for him to use properly. He won't last more than a few exchanges shouted their leader. His manifestation appeared behind him, and flying around the pillar, he attacked. He was a true Empyrean with an awakened manifestation. Seeing him coming, flames of fury soared in Long Chen's heart. He hadn't provoked anyone, and yet he was always unlucky. No wonder that fellow stole your flying boat. You're a pile of trash. Enraged, Long Chen agilely dodged his spear, preparing to counterattack. However, just at that moment, a sense of alarm rose in his heart, and he hastily dodged to the side. Countless thin needles flew by him. Despite dodging quickly, he was still struck in the shoulder, and half his body instantly became numb. Those needles contained poison. Die. Seeing Long Chen had been struck, one of them attacked him from behind. His spear was just about to stab into Long Chen's body when Long Chen caught the tip with his hand. With a cold snort, he was about to push back when the tip trembled. Boom. The spear's tip actually exploded. It happened so suddenly that Long Chen's hand was blown to pulp. If it was anyone else, they probably would have died. It seems you have some power. However, your generation was born in a declined era. In front of us, you still have to kneel submissively. Resisting will only increase your humiliation. Their leader had realized that Long Chen wasn't ordinary, but he was still fearless. His spear rumbled toward Long Chen once more. It's just a heretical path, yet you dare bring it out. Long Chen sneered, killing intent blazing in his eyes. He was truly infuriated. It was just a misunderstanding, yet these people wanted his life. Since that was the case, he wouldn't stand on courtesy. Divine Ring, Battle Armor, Long Chen's five-colored divine ring appeared behind him, and five stars appeared in his eyes. A powerful aura surged out. That expert had his spear blown apart by a single punch from Long Chen. At the same time, a foot came straight for his face. However, he sneered, and his left hand reached toward Long Chen's foot. Just as he was about to grab it, a special glove covered his hand, one with sharp points on the fingertips. There were countless thin barbs on those tips, and once they stabbed flesh, they would tear out a huge chunk of it. If the barbs reached the bone, then unless that bone broke, there would be no way to pull them out. This glove was an extremely insidious weapon. That expert's hand clamped over Long Chen's foot. However, those barbs didn't manage to stab into Long Chen's flesh because a layer of white scales had appeared between them. Boom. Grabbing Long Chen's foot didn't manage to stop Long Chen's power. It merely diverted it slightly, resulting in it smashing into the expert's chest. He instantly vomited blood, with his shattered innards mixed within. This strike of Long Chen's had been too powerful, and even his armor was unable to completely resist its power. That shocked this expert of the mechanism sect even through his armor. He was still injured to this extent. Just how powerful did that attack have to be? Without his armor, he would have been killed. Just as he was starting to get a bad feeling, three of his companions attacked Long Chen, their spears aiming at his vitals from three different angles. Every part of their spears was filled with their special mechanisms. Anyone who was struck by them would definitely die. The mechanism sect's experts were covered from head to toe in concealed weapons. They were just like Guo Ran, but Guo Ran's mechanisms were a far cry from theirs. Caught from three different angles, Long Chen slammed his hands at two of the spears and kicked the spear coming at him from behind. Seeing this, the three of them sneered seeming to already be able to see the scene of Long Chen's miserable death. However, just as they were about to make contact, Long Chen also sneered. Golden light exploded. 108 golden dragon teeth appeared. 
striking the three of them. Dodge. The leader of these experts suddenly roared. He instantly saw just how terrifying the golden dragon teeth were. At the same time, he realized why Long Chen had been fighting them with his fists the entire time. It was to mislead them into thinking that Long Chen only specialized in close-range combat. Now that he revealed his true abilities, they were caught off guard. Regretfully, he reacted slowly, and the three people attacking him reacted even slower. The dragon teeth pierced straight through their armor, and they instantly turned into bloody mist. Those dragon teeth were unimaginably sharp. They were the teeth of the metal devouring evil dragon. For them to come out at such close range without them expecting it, there was nothing they could do. The dragon teeth were plenty sharp but not flexible enough for Long Chen. When he was going all out, he couldn't use them. Using his soul to control them wasn't his specialty. Against truly powerful experts, he wasn't able to kill them with the dragon teeth. However, by using them as a surprise attack with enough preparations, Long Chen had turned them into a powerful killing blow. Just who are you? shouted the leader. Why didn't you ask before? Will you just kill anyone you encounter? Some ancient sect you are. It seems that you're just a bunch of cowardly idiots. I told you that you'd regret it. If you want to kill me, you have to be prepared to be killed as well, sneered Long Chen. The dragon teeth whirled through the air, attacking the remaining three experts of the mechanism sect. Bastard. Do you realize what kind of calamity you've provoked by killing people of the mechanism sect? Your sect. Your family. They'll all be implicated by you. Boom. He had barely finished speaking when Long Chen mercilessly slashed a dragon tooth at him. His hasty block resulted in him being blown back. Trash stays the same throughout history. The mechanism sect raised idiots like you. So I doubt it's a good place. For you to have survived all this time. You probably didn't even dare to come out of your tortoise shell. Said Long Chen. Killing intent blazed within him. Although he was ruthless. He had his own bottom line. He hated it the most when people said that they would exterminate a person's whole clan and sect even when destroying the heaven-suppressing magic sect or heavenly fate island. Long Chen had given people inside ample time to run. As for those who didn't flee and instead wanted to kill him, he didn't view them as innocent. On the other hand, some idiotic sects would really destroy a sect to its last member without leaving anyone behind. That was a display of their power. Perhaps the reason why Long Chen had so many enemies was because he wasn't ruthless enough. If he killed regardless of good or bad, acting according to Evil Moon's values, exterminating whole sects and families, he definitely wouldn't have so many enemies. At the very least, many people would not dare to provoke him. However, he disdained bullying the weak to show his power. Building his fame by taking the lives of the weak was beneath his bottom line as a person. These experts of the mechanism sect on the other hand were no different than idiots. When Dong Fang Yuyang had said that the ancient sects and powers that had come out had their own confidence and grace, Long Chen had almost believed him. But now that he had encountered the mechanism sect, he knew that idiots were not unique to one era. The three experts of the mechanism sect were forced onto the defensive by the dragon teeth. However, Golden lights would occasionally shoot out of various parts of their armor as various concealed weapons shot out. There was truly an endless number of hidden mechanisms on their armor. Many of their attacks came without any warning. If Long Chen wasn't already very familiar with Guo Ran's armor, he might have been the one at an immense disadvantage. The mechanism sect's armor was even more flexible than Guo Ran's. Their mechanism shot out in clever and smooth ways that made them difficult to defend against. In fact, it wasn't just their armor. Sometimes, the concealed weapons that they shot out also had additional mechanisms. They might suddenly explode or unleash a torrent of poison needles. Bastard. Do you think just your little bit of power is enough to look down on the mechanism sect's prestige roared their leader? He had already realized that Long Chen was definitely a big figure of the current generation. If Long Chen had reported his name, perhaps this battle could have been avoided. Now, the leader was a bit afraid. Long Chen's power had far surpassed their expectations. Four of them had already died, while three of them were barely hanging on. Without this little bit of power, I'd probably already have been killed by you. You said that you don't talk reason, and it just so happens that I don't either. 
Let's talk with power instead, sneered Long Chen. Considering their actions, it was a typical case of bullying the weak but being afraid of the strong. This so-called powerful sect of the ancient era was a coward dressed in a bully's clothes. Long Chen had already made some concessions at the start, but that had only made them even more overbearing. They had now completely infuriated him. Are you really planning on becoming enemies with the mechanism sect? Roared their leader. Their mechanisms were unable to cause any effective damage to Long Chen. It seemed that he was very familiar with their techniques. They even suspected that he was also someone from the ancient era. But from the start, they had sensed that his aura was completely different from the auras of the ancient experts. The cultivation environment of the ancient era was very different from the current era. So there was a clear difference in auras between experts of different eras. The most curious thing to them was that Long Chen had been injured quite easily at the start. Meaning that he hadn't known about their mechanism sect could it be that he had grown so familiar with their secret abilities in just this little bit of time? If that was really the case, then that was too terrifying. Let's stop. The mechanism sect accepts defeat. Finally, the leader lowered his head. Long Chen snorted and finally pulled back his dragon teeth. After killing four of them, he was feeling a bit better. However, just at that moment, his anger flared once more. You are courting death. The three of them had only paused for a moment once Long Chen had pulled back his dragon teeth. Then they took out dragon cannons. Sinister smiles appearing on their faces. Die, idiot. The three cannons unleashed their attacks at the same time. Three bolts of azure light pierced through the air, enveloping Long Chen within them. The void crumbled where that light went, and even the three of them were knocked back by the recoil force. Only the awakened Empyrean had it better off. The others had their arms break from the impact, but they were still pleased. The twisting space eventually calmed down, but Long Chen's figure was nowhere to be seen. Ha ha ha, idiot. Did you think the mechanism sect's power was something you could imagine? Their leader laughed heartily. In order to activate their cannons, they needed a bit of time. In an intense fight, there was no way to unleash them. But as soon as Long Chen pulled back, it gave them the chance. You cut off your own chances of surviving. Don't blame me. A cold voice rang through the air. It sounded like it came from a fiend from the depths of hell. The three of them were appalled. Hastily looking up, they saw Long Chen was standing in the sky above them. Half his body was soaked in blood. His gaze was as sharp as a sword. Those dragon cannons had definitely been extremely terrifying. He had no idea what kind of power they were using but if he hadn't dodged in time, he would have died. That near brush with death had come so suddenly that he hadn't had time to summon the Azure Dragon battle armor. Despite doing his best to dodge, one of those attacks had brushed past his shoulder, ripping out a chunk of flesh. He had possessed no enmity with the mechanism sect before this. Although they had gone extremely far this time, after killing four of them, Long Chen had been willing to leave matters there. However, this restraint almost cost him his life. Now there was no way to hold back his fury. He suddenly took out Devil Moon. That huge black blade unleashed a hellish roar as it slashed toward them. Your Long Chen. Upon seeing that signature blade, those experts let out startled cries. Long Chen didn't give them any chance to explain. His merciless attack gave them no room to flee. Those experts were pale. They had recognized Long Chen through Evil Moon. Now they suddenly recalled that the light behind Long Chen was known as his divine ring. They had actually misjudged the ring behind him as a blessing of the heavenly deos. It wasn't actually similar to anything related to heavenly deos, but they hadn't cared too much about it. Now that they realized the truth, it was too late. Long Chen was already enraged. Run. The three of them formed hand seals at the same time. The metal bird that they had parked in the distance suddenly shot out a beam of light that enveloped them. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed through thin air. The three of them were pulled into the metal bird. The metal bird instantly flew into the air, about to flee. But just at that moment, a giant divine pillar smashed into it. That giant divine pillar slammed into the metal bird, smashing it into the ground. As a result, a long ditch appeared in the land. This attack had contained Long Chen's killing intent. Hence, the metal bird was smashed to pieces, while the pillar also crumbled from how hard the metal bird had been. The metal bird was now no more than a pile of scrap. 
It had died with the pillar. Suddenly, three figures flew out. That was their Yuan spirits. Their physical bodies had been destroyed in the impact. And now they could only flee with their Yuan spirits. Die. A bolt of lightning instantly swallowed the three of them. They barely had a chance to scream before they exploded. Where do you think you're going? Suddenly, Long Chen unleashed a second lightning arrow. One of the Yuan spirits had actually used some unknown technique to survive Long Chen's attack. That Yuan spirit belonged to their leader. Long Chen, just wait. The mechanism sect won't let you off. He let out a furious roar before actually self-detonating. His Yuan spirit transformed into runes that flew out in every direction. His voice rang throughout the air from every one of the runes. Even in death, I'll pass this news to the sect. Long Chen, you and everyone near you should just wait to be annihilated by the mechanism sect. Long Chen's lightning arrow destroyed most of the runes, but a portion of them flew away. This was most likely some secret art to transform that leader's will into runes, and they would pass news of his death to the mechanism sect. Perhaps Long Chen could have destroyed all the runes with one attack, but he hadn't been expecting something like this, so there was no way to stop it. Since there was no way to stop it, he couldn't be bothered to care. In any case, he wasn't afraid of people knowing. He waved his hand, grabbing the fragments of the stone pillar and the scrap metal bird. Of course, he also flipped through the corpses, taking their spatial rings. Long Chen took out a fist-sized sparrow. It looked very ordinary, but it wasn't actually a sparrow. It was a tool that Guo Ran had made to pass information. Long Chen opened the stomach of the sparrow, placing the spatial rings inside. The armor and metal bird of the mechanism sect should be quite helpful to Guo Ran. After the sparrow activated, it transformed into a beam of light that shot into the distance. Long Chen was just about to leave when his pupils shrank. At some point, a white-robed woman had appeared, standing in the sky. That woman had actually appeared without him sensing it at all. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Standing there, she was wrapped in immortal mist that gave off watery fluctuations. She was like a fairy wrapped in illusion. Ripples spread from every part of her making it impossible for anyone to see her true appearance. It was only vaguely possible to see that she had waist long hair and an elegant figure. There was an unspeakable immortal charm to her. She was definitely a peak expert. To be able to escape the senses of the nine star hegemon body art, she must be extremely powerful. You killed people of the mechanism sect you might have to deal with some trouble in the future. Her voice was gentle like water. I already have plenty of trouble and I don't mind adding a mechanism sect into the mix, said Long Chen indifferently. May I ask if you have any pointers? The woman shook her head. I was just passing by and happened to see it. The mechanism sect is very difficult to deal with, and their methods are sinister. They'll do anything it takes to achieve their goals, so only a few people are willing to provoke them. You had best be prepared then many thanks. Ever since I stepped into the cultivation world, the troubles have never stopped, so I'm already used to it. Long Chen cupped his fists in thanks. You should be Long Chen. Correct, correct, you really are just like the stories. Let me warn you, the mechanism sect has a supreme expert of the ancient era, Zhao Wuji. He's very vengeful and a terrifying figure. He will also be attending the gathering, so you'll definitely see him there. After saying that, the woman's body merged into the empty space as if she didn't possess a solid body. She vanished at will, without Long Chen being able to grasp where she had gone. The monsters of the ancient era really are terrifying, sighed Long Chen. Previously, there had been that woman on the three-foot golden crow. She had almost flipped his flying boat just by passing by. Then there was this woman who came and went silently like a ghost. They both gave him a sense of immense pressure. Since such a woman had called Zhao Wuji a terrifying person, he was probably truly terrifying. It seems I'm fated to be accompanied by bad luck in this life. Even just quietly traveling, I run into such bad luck. Just how did these blind idiots end up running into me? Long Chen sighed. He had silently picked up another enemy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If someone wants to play, I'll accompany them. Long Chen took a deep breath and stepped into his flying boat. Flying away, he quickly saw the western part of the martial heaven sea ring. 
Ripples appeared on the surface of the water as he flew over it. Things were very peaceful. Any sea demons that appeared were frightened away by the pressure of the flying boat. Suddenly, an intense fluctuation came from within the primal chaos space. Long Chen hastily looked, only to see a figure slowly surfacing within the ball of inverse Tao water spirit flame that was hanging in the sky. Huo Long had managed to refine a portion of its power before, allowing it to slowly devour the rest of the inverse Tao water spirit flame without any rejection. Huo Long had dived into it. During this time, Huo Long had been like a fetus slowly being nourished by the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Now, it was breaking out. Huo Long's figure slowly flew out. Its whole body was fiery red, but now there were water-like ripples coming from it, like it was a dragon of lava. It suddenly roared and devoured the ball of inverse Tao water spirit flame hanging in the sky. After devouring it, Huo Long's body expanded, and it seemed a bit bloated. Huo Long had already learned to control the inverse Tao water spirit flame's power. It would now just slowly digest it. Haha, <laughs> good job Huo Long. It just so happened that I was lacking trump cards. You woke up at the right time. Long Chen laughed. Huo Long had awakened, and he could clearly sense its terrifying fluctuations. Huo Long vanished from the primal chaos space, reappearing on Long Chen's arm. It had just touched Long Chen's arm when his arm caught fire. Huo Long hastily returned to the primal chaos space. It seemed it would need some more time. Long Chen was excited, but Huo Long was ten times more excited. It had just tried to show some affection for Long Chen, only to burn him. It's fine, it's fine. Huo Long, the stronger you are, the better, comforted Long Chen. He looked at his arm. It had turned black almost all the way to his bone. If Huo Long hadn't retreated fast enough, his arm would have been turned to ash. Huo Long communicated with Long Chen spiritually, apologizing like a child that had made a mistake. Long Chen comforted it, even praising it. In the future, it would be able to help him immensely. After awakening, Huo Long's intelligence had grown. It told Long Chen that it could use the inverse Tao water spirit flame in battle now. Although its control wasn't great enough for alchemy yet, there was no problem when it came to fighting. Furthermore, this meant that Long Chen would be able to protect himself if he encountered the Pill Fairy once more. Good. Then work hard during this time. Try to control it perfectly. Only then can I use it to refine pills. Being able to refine 11th tier pills is the only way for me to get stronger, said Long Chen. 11th tier pills would be his foundation for getting stronger right now. He had to resolve that problem quickly, or there was no way he would be able to compete with the monsters that had just appeared. The flying boat quietly flew over the martial heaven sea ring. He didn't encounter any more trouble. However, there were a few powerful existences that sped past him along the way. He sensed great pressure from every one of them. Clearly the supreme experts that had been worth sealing in the past were not easy to deal with. However, Long Chen felt a fierce battle intent soar within him. His blood started to heat up once more in anticipation. Eventually, he reached the land on the other side. However, there wasn't a single blade of grass present. It was an endless barren desert. As he got further into the land, he saw some cities, but their population was very low. There was no way for them to compare to the eastern wasteland. Eventually, he reached a giant city that made Long Chen's heartbeat quicken. He had finally reached the gathering of past and present heroes.